when the logos comes into your spirit and you're now full of the spirit you're full of the word in your heart then it's time to cause changes so you cause changes by releasing the word in your spirit into motion did you hear what i just said so the word comes through your mouth and the word goes through your mouth did you hear that you are acting now so where you have received the word concerning fruitfulness in your spirit and your baby is in your spirit or in the spirit in your spirit or the, ba the baby is in your spirit as a spiritual evidence then now you want to rheumatize the baby rheumatize the logos rheumatize the spiritual evidence how do you rheumatize it by releasing it that is rema rema is the active word in your spirit that is released into operation you want to stop that demon throughout the day and then i just felt like people had gone into come into the house but i was like ah by this time so i was still there and then i just had the urge to get up and just draw the curtain and peep and then i just saw three men i was like ah really three men with their fully armed up like dressed for action yeah. so i was just there and then i just had this boldness to just yeah. talk to them yeah. <laughs> i was like hey what are you guys doing here yeah. like come on out i came to realize that all these things were uh consistent dipping myself in purpose messages i cease to live under the power of negative addictions I cease to live under the power of spells. Yeah. There is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. There is no enchantment against Israel. No divination against Jacob. I don't live under the power of any spell. Nobody can cast a spell on me. It is not possible. That spell will not work. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Who is he that will hurt me? Who is he that will harm me? I'm a follower of that which is good. I can't be harmed by any spell. In the name of Jesus. I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. I was raised together with Christ. I live with Christ. I'm enthroned with Christ. Yes. I'm not ordinary. I'm living and walking in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. It's another day to be enlightened and to know the mind of Christ and be transformed. Thank you, Pastor Sir, for honoring me to be on set. It's always a pri privilege and an honor to be here to lead the saints in prayer. Hallelujah. It's Ramaton, five weekends of Ramaton with the highly esteemed man of God. Pastor yesterday expounded truths to us. And one thing that I took home was that as a Christian, I'm in fellowship with the Father and the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, Pastor is going to expound on many other truths that we will take home and we will have to meditate on so that it becomes a part of us. Hallelujah. We are zooming right into prayer. I want you to share the link, invite someone, and pray and tie up your spirits as we prepare for pastor to bring us truth. Hallelujah. We are praying, therefore, in the name of Jesus and making power available for the acceptance of our man of God. We are praying for acceptance in every nation our man of god pastor prince sets foot in we are praying for the acceptance of the message and we are praying for laborers to abound and our resources will also abound in the name of jesus we are praying according to luke 10 8 9 that says when you enter a town and are welcomed eat what is offered you heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of god has come near you we are also taking our prayer according to Acts 18, 9, 10. One night the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. Do not be afraid. Keep 
on speaking. Do not be silent, for I'm with you. No one is going to attack you and harm you, because I have many people in this city. Therefore, we are praying in the name of Jesus for the acceptance of our man of God in every nation that is says for him. In the name of Jesus, Mashete Balaka Shanda Balaga Sata Brandaba, Ligon de Balaka Shata Baleba Sandaraba, Leko Daba Santa Baliba Shanta Baliga Shadaba, Ra Atabali Goska Paliba Shande Bariandaba, Rako de Basante Bariandaba Laka Shantaba, Ra Atabali Goska Pande Bariandaba Salaba, Ra Bali Goska Palian de Barus Kapayantaba. Mantaba kos kapali ande baraba shata liko nte baraba shanda balaba sanda ba iko nta baliba shande baria daba santa ba ra ata palego shata balaba santa ba liko nte baraba ya ande baria dos kapaya ra ata balashata balaba ra balaka santa baligo kapaya li bara ande baraba santa balaba shata ra ba bara asanta balaba kapaya Le kande basun de bara ashen de baya ligora azanta balian de bara bashanda ikon de bara aska baya anda balabashala ra anta balian de bara azun Tabaliaka, Raba Raba Shatabalaka Santabaya, Raba Ligos Kapande Barian Dabalagasha, Raato Zebran Dabalika Dabashata, Lego de de Basun de Bariakan Dabalaba Sataba, Raata Balabashata Balabasata Balabasata, Raa Pali Koshiti Barian Dabakapaya, Ibala Asata Balianda Bara Shatabaya, Lego de Bara Azun Tabalaka. Bala ashatabaya, la bara anda bali goska panda, mendi bara azunta barianda, li bara ashatabala basata, ra anda bali goska para asanta bala basanta, ra anda bali goska para abasunta bala basanta, ra gada bala basanta bala baska paya, ra kada bala gasata bala basanta bala basa, li go bara azunta. Rashanda bara azata lika dada basata balabashata balabasa rababaya bara baya balabashata balabashata ikota palabasata balabasanda balabasha raada balaka sata balabashata nikode bara babaya andabari andabasa likanda bara azanta baliashata bara basanta Manta bali goska panda balianda ribara azata bara azata libara kazata bala bashanda bala basha raada bala asata bala abasata ba libara asunta barianda kara bayanda rikada bala paya bala bashata bala ba mandi bara paya anda bala bashanda ba rakada basa likanda bara paya anda bara baska paya likuti bara paya Anta bali boska paya, ika da ba santa bala ba shanda ba, ra kandi bara ba ya anta bala ba shata, ra ada bali ba shanta bara ba ya anta bala baska, li bara ba ya anta bali ata sata, li kuta para sunta ba ba sata ya, ika da ba sunda bala ba shanta ba ya. Manda balus kapa i bara baya bara basanta bara baska li baba ya bara baya bara basunta pa i kada basanta bala basanda ba mandu bara baya kata bara asata bara baska pa ya i kada basanta bala basanta ba ra ata bali kura baba ya ata bala basa ra kudi basunda bara shata bara sata i kanda bara anda bali gasha ba. Manda bali gushata ra asata ikata para asata para asata mandura baya para baya baska paya ligu para dos kianda bari basunda ikanda bali gasata ba anda bali gasata ya la kara basata ikanda balabasha naba mandu para baya para kada basata. 
Libara ayabara kanda basa tabala basha Raba bazun tabara kanda basha la bahada Raa tapara atapara atapa Bako sote baros kaparo kusetea Ikande baru sabranda paria anda bala shata Ligos kapaya ande basha la ba Ramande baria basha la ba Raanta balia shala Ramande barabaya kanda ba Raanta balia kanda Shataba, Rakunda Baliba Shanda, Rakadabaya Antapa, Rama Kadi Andaba, Roko Sataba, Roka Suntaba, Bako Zotaba, Baba Zontabaya, Raato Kapariya Basatabaya, Rika Deba Suntaba, Raka Sata, Raanda Baliba Shata, Ekadaba Santaba, Rama Sata, Ekadaba Santaba, Libarabaya Katapa, Rama Rama Shataba, Raataba, Rakande Basuntabaya, Ramande Kabayanda Basala, Imando Paria Basata, Ekadaba Shantaba, Rakadaba La Basataba, Rekaba Para Apasata Kapa, Rakuntapa Yaka, Reba Suntaba, Mando Baligoshete, Bake Basunta Baligosh Kapa, Ramanda Balianda Basala, Rakadaba Satababa, Rakadaba Basataba, Likado Sabra de Basutaba, Raanda Baliba Shanta, E karaba santa balabaya ntaba Bako rabaya aparabaya ba Ramanda balaba shalaba Raanda balaba shalaba Moshalaba Rakandi basata bayi Basunta balia basanta kaya ba Raanda balego shata bayi Mendo bara sunta ba asata ya E karaba sanda Ramande baraka shata bayi Basute paraka sunta ba Raanda Dabalian Dabashalaba Rabati Kabaya Raantaba Man Pakaya Basundaba Barazun Tabaya Barazun Tabaya Barazun Tabaya E Barabasun Tabaya Le Kabashandaba Asata Barapaya Kata Basuti Kaba I Basuti Kaba Mando Bashala Kandaba Lika Dada Basandaba Raanta Baligos Kapaya Raata Baligos Kapaya Barababaya Barabaya Kata Raanta Balika Pashata, Rakaba and the Baliba Shata, Ekanda Babagas Kapaya, Rabataba, Ibasun Taba, Baros Kapaya and the Baliba Shandaba, Mando Baros Kapara Baya Atapa, Basota Pakaba, Likos Kapa, Mando Baregeshet Bebe, Ekadiba Satabaya, Likos Kapa, Baros Kipande Balege, Beto Baraba and the Baliga Shandaba. Sandaba, Raata Balaka Satababa, Basata Balaba, Basata Balaba, Basata Balaba, Raanda Balaba Sandaba, Mundaba Arapapaya Apara, Raantos Kaparyandaba Sandaba Koskapa, Likata Pa Abasutaya, Ikadaba Sanda. Manda ka sata ba ba kos ka pa iba shala anda ba ba re ka pa ya ba sote ka ba manto ka ba e ka da ba la ba shata ba la ba ya kanda ba manda i ganda ba ra ata ba li ka shanda ba ka ta ta ra asata ra ka sa Raka Rakasata ba, Rakasata ba, Lagos ke paradise kapa, Raos kapa, Lagos ke paradise kapa ya. E manda balaba shanda ba, Raonda baliba shanda ba, Mende ke re ke shete. E karaba ya anta pa, Basunda balianda, Ra anta balianda, Ra anta balianda, Ragada, Rabaka ya basata. E karaba sunta paria kasa ba. Manda baligos kapaya Rabaya tapa Rabaya tapa Ikada basunda barabaya ndaba Mendo para 
Rabaya Apaskapala, Rabaya Pakapala, Rabaya Barapaya, Raanta Barabasco Pariaba, Mando Baliba Shalaba, Moshala, Raande Bashala, Rabaya Apata Sataba, Basota Kapa Rabaya Kapata, Mando Kapa Rabaya Kata, Raa Paraka Sata, Raa Paraka Sata, Basota Baria Basantaba, Mendo Barabaya Antabarabai Kata Sata, E Kadaba Suntaba, Mendo Sapaya Ande Payabaka Sataba, E Kadiba Sundaba, Mando Paria Kasata, E Kadaba Sanda, E Kandiba Sadaba, Mendo Paria Pasuntaba, Le Cote Parabayantaba, Mande Parabaya Katapa, Basutapa, 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 E Kata Parabababa, Basunde Barabaya, Feli Basute, E Basete, Basata, Montapa, Rabaye Kata. Manta paria kate pakata raba yekata raba yekata basote bali bashanda ba raa pata paria bashanta kalababa raba yakapata raba yakata raba yakata rekata paraba santa ba manda bali goske paya basata abala kata ta raba yakata paraba ya raba yakaraba e baraba baya ba Mando kaba rabaya ba rabakete basute kapa ipas kapa basonta ba ekara basanda ba rababa yaka o basunda ba yakanda ba meshala ba meshala ba meshala ba meshala ba ukosa ba ekara basunta basute kaba uskapa rebaba ya ba rabaya ba baros kapa i mendo baris kapa i Basute kaba mante igasite kaba ra ashata baria basunta 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 eka daba yanta ba rega bada bashala baha mashala ba mashala ba ra apata para baya apata ra oska paria basunta ba mende belege ra ande bere ra abadika ra bande gebe mende ba ra ande gebe basunda ba ya kanda ba shalabaha la farra baba ya para faya e kada ba santa raba sunta ba mendo paria pato paria pato paria ba sataya e kada ba asata rata paya kata para ba mande kapa yanda ba shalaba mando paria ba sunta ba ba kota pa e kata para ba ba mendo pare ke sata ba i ba sote kaba i ba sote kaba i Rapa e kapata para baya kata ramanda para ba rakanda para kos kapa ra anta bali basanta manda para ante para basanta manta para asata ramanta ba asata rama anta basata rama anta basata rama anta basata la casata, la casata, la casata, la casata, la casata, uba sata baya bashanda ba, ramanta paria bashata, lika da basanta ba, ra anta bali bashanda baya ka, ra ata bali bashata, ra abali gashata, hakata tazata ba, ra baya ata ba, ra basata ba i, ba kosete kabaye, ra os Sete kabaye mendo bara bayanda rangos kapaya aparia kasanda baye baro sete baya kande bara raba santa baye baso tabaya anta ba rako sete baye bako sete baye baso te baya asata rabos kaba mezuka ya ba ra anda bazi kanta ba mendo bere bere esete bere yako sate baya ra anta ba Ligo saba e kada basunta ba raganda da basata malaka sata rama kara basata ba ya e kada basunta ba raba de kaba basunta ba mendo para ba ya pa raba te kapa rako sata ba i ba ko sata ba i ba ko sata ba i mende kebele sete re ebele kese
tebele besete ragadi basuti kebele besete bakunta bariande kabashete ra anta baliga basete beko satabaya ra azete be bekele besete bazuta ba azete be bazunta ba ye akazete be bezuta ba ra apa satapa ra pa ya apa sataba ra anta ba 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 ba sunta ba ra ba ya ba ra ba ba ya apa ra ba ya kapa ra ba ya akapa ra ba ya ra kapa ya akapa ra kapa ya ikapa ya kati ra asata ba ra ba shanda ba manda ba ra ba shata ra apa sata ba ya ba Mantaba ra abaya ba santa ba mantaba 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 e kada ba santa ba ra ba ye kata pa ya ba azanta ba la ba ra ma santa ba lege sete rekete bele esete beke rekende bejete ba santa ba ligos ke pa ya ando sabra da da ba ra ba santa ba ra ba santa ba ra ba santa ba mendo ba la Rabasata, rabakasata, ikata barabasata, rakasete barakasata, rakosata barabasata, rika basata baya, manto barabasata ba, mando baria basanta ba, vendebe yanda ba, yakada baravasata baya, ravasata baya, ravasata baya, manda balia, ramanda bala, ramanda bala, ria papaya. Pa kanta pa ra o sata ba i ba suin ta ba ya ra ba sata ra ba sata ra ba sata ra ba sata e kara ba sata ra ba suin ta ba ya kanda ba manda pa ra ba pa ya pa ra ba ya apa ra ba o ba sata ba. Mantaba, Rababa, Sata. Everywhere that a man of God steps through, in the name of Jesus, Basun Taba, Rababa, Sata. There's an acceptance. Rika Tuba, Rababa, Sata. Baya, Rika Taba, Rababa, Sata. In every nation in Europe, Basun Taba, Rababa, Sata. A man of God is accepted. Libaro Shapranta Kaba Sata. Eka de Basun Taba, Rababa, Sata. Uka. Tabarashataba, all over Asia, he is accepted in the name of Jesus. Basu Tabara Azan Tabara Abasata, he can Tabara Sata. Every household is accepted in him. Likunda Bara Ashataya, Likote Bara Zun Tabaya, he can Tapa, Liko Sataba, Manta Bara Asataba, Manto Bira Abasata, he can to Bara Basata, Manta Bara. Basataba Mendo Baria Candia Lugo Sabrantaba Basata Barabasata Rakanta Baria Basata E Karabasata Mandaba Lego Shatabaya Ramande Lego Shatabaya Ramande Lego Shataba Rakata Paye Katapa Basun Tabarabasata Raata Parabasata Rakanda Balaga Shatabaya E Karabasandaba Rakanta Barabaya Barapaya Parakata ra anda baligusha baso teligusha ligose teligusha ligusha 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 ikata barasata barasata ibaso ta barabasata raka barabasata ikanda barabasata bakota para ayada barabayada ba manda rabayada ba shalabaha manda barabasata ba ukata para Rabasata ba, libes a bounding a, runta baria uska baria sata ba. Everywhere a man of God steps for a, every nation a, libes a bounding a, libura a shanta baria nta bara sata ba ya, ikote bara gade ba sata, ekanda ba zunta baria anta ba, manta bara baya ba santa ba, ra sata ba. 
la kate bara abashata munta kaza munta kaza munta baza akazata lebesa a redly available uba shatu kasutima antu bari abasa likuti pa abasa karianda bala ashata likada basata raanda bala basata hikanda bari abashanda bara basanda rimandi bari antu bari akanda Raaba liku shataba basuti balaba shataba basata ikata raaba tabalaba shata libes are readily available for the work of the ministry basunta bara basada bahaya libasunta baraya ikata bara azata likanda bara azata bayaya liguza paya taba raadi baria basata rakanta bara azata Tava Rakada Basantava Mandu Barra Basata the whole of Europe Libesa Villabula Uba Satabaya Raantaba the whole of Asia Libesa Villabula Raunta Baria Basata Raanta Barra Basata Liku Sapatabaya Mantabalia Basalaba Anda Raanta Balia Basadaba Anda Raata Baraba Santaba La kada ba shanta ba o ba sata ba manta ba sata ba everywhere man of God steps to that he is accepted that resources are readily available o ba sata ba they are readily available they are readily available in the name of Jesus labors and resources are bound ra anta ba ra ba sata ba ra anta ba liya ba shala ya re kada ba sata ba ya anda ba li gosha Bara basata, mantu bari abasanda, ikanda basata, ra abasata, ra abasata, ra abasata, ra abasata, ra abasata. Labors and resources are bound. They are readily available. Ra unda bali basata, ra baya bara baya baka, ra baya baka bara baya basata, mantu bara basata, ikuda basada bara abas. Sata Raba Sata Kaya Rikanda Basata Balabasa Raba Rabaya Abarabasa Likada Basunda Bara Ata Yakada Zata Ikada Zataba Uka Zataba Manta Barabaya Aparabasata Uba Sataba Every Hadi Satana Uba Sata A Man of God Every Word that is Tesfood Manda bara shata ba ra antu bari akaba ba de bere be geze iba zunta bare rugu sata bali ba shedeya la ku sata bara bayata ra bagu zata bayata bara baya ra ku te bara baya kata ba ba shata bali gusa le ku te bali gusi ba ra abatia li ku ta bara basata the whole of you. And Asia, La Anta Barasata, every nation, Abasun Tabarasata, a man of God is accepted, La Oska Parasataba, Iko Tabari Kaba Sataba, Rego Sebari Kaba Sataba, Rego Reba Zete Kaba Sata, La Ata Baligo Sata, La Anda Baligo Sata, La Kadiba Sutabaye, Besote Baye, Besote Baye. Oh Sataba, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that a man of God is accepted in every nation. Resources are readily available, and labors are bound for the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory. I'm functioning in the name of Jesus. I can't be defeated. I can't walk in fear. I can't walk in worries. No, I can't walk in fear. I walk by faith. I walk by faith. I can't walk in hatred. I walk in love. Shout glory. The word has been of tremendous blessing to me. Um, I remember when I first um, joined 
world changes. I was so blown away by the word that um, the man of God um, was teaching. They were not ordinary um, Sunday teachings. They were not ordinary um, messages you hear on a Sunday. And I'm always particular about the statements he makes. Whenever I listen to um, the recordings or watch um, the teachings on YouTube, I always have to pause to meditate on every single word or every single sentence um, he speaks because it carries a lot of weight and it's full of um, revelation as well. I remember one of the nights that he called, he prayed and specifically said that tonight you are going to you will sleep because mind you, five was having sleepless nights. So this was going on for about two or three months. And that night, she did sleep. I was like, wow, this, this is pretty impressive. This is interesting. Ramathon Season 7. Five weekends of life and immortality. Join Pastor Prince live for an expose on the word and diverse miracles. Saturdays and Sundays beginning 4th May to 2nd June 2024. You are blessed. Ramathon Season 7. And that is Christianity. Christ living in a person. That is Christ at home in a person. That is a person living in a person. Two persons have become one. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Two persons have not become two, they become one. Yes, sir. Spiritually and bodily. Yes, sir. Since this I speak concerning Christ and the church. For this God shall a man leave his parents, father and mother, and they should be joined, should be joined with his wife. And they too, they twain, they too, they shall be one flesh. They too shall be one flesh. Since this I speak concerning Christ and the church. Christ and us have become one flesh. Hallelujah. I didn't hear an amen to that. Amen. And then they see that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. So Christ and us have become one spirit. We are one spirit. We are joined spiritually and bodily. Think about it. No demon can take my body anywhere. Yes, sir. Death cannot take my body anywhere. If you take that body, you have taken Christ's body. Yes, sir. How can death touch Christ's body? Never. Let's yes, have this understanding and see something. So, throughout the Gospels, all the apostles didn't know they were working with Jesus. But they didn't know that this person was actually an embodiment of God's purpose. God's eternal purpose that was working it was working in christ so all that he was doing was an unveiling of god's eternal purpose there is something about a meeting with pastor prince one of the miracles you receive is a miracle of change in your mindset and with a transformed mindset comes a transformed life join pastor prince this ramathon ramathon season seven five weekends of life and immortality join pastor prince live for an expose on the word and diverse miracles saturdays and sundays beginning 4th may to 2nd june 2024 you are blessed And that is Christianity. Christ living in a person. That is Christ at home in a person. That is a person living in a person. Two persons have become one. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Two persons have not become two, they become one. Yes, sir. Spiritually and bodily. Yes, sir. Since this I speak concerning Christ and the church. For this God shall a man leave his parents, father and mother, and they should be, should be joined with his wife. And they too, they twain, they too, they shall be one flesh. They too shall be one flesh. Says this I speak concerning Christ and the church. Christ and us have become one flesh. Hallelujah. 
I didn't hear an amen to that. Amen. And then they see that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. So Christ and us have become one spirit. We are one spirit. We are joined spiritually and bodily. Think yes, about sir. it. Yes, no demon can take my body anywhere. Yes, sir. Death cannot take my body anywhere. You take that body, you have taken Christ's body. Yes, sir. How can death touch Christ's body? Never. Just have this understanding and see something. So throughout the gospels, all the apostles didn't know they were working with Jesus. But they didn't know that this person was actually an embodiment of God's purpose. God's eternal purpose that was working. It was working in Christ. So all that he was doing was an unveiling of God's eternal purpose. There is something about a meeting with Pastor Prince. One of the miracles you receive is a miracle of change in your mindset. And with a transformed mindset comes a transformed life. Join Pastor Prince this Ramadan. Ramadan Season 7 Five Weekends of Life and Immortality Join Pastor Prince live for an expose on the word and diverse miracles. Saturdays and Sundays beginning 4th May to 2nd June 2024. You are blessed. Abraham says, says Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Abraham walked in prophetic revelation. He saw, when he say he see my day, do you understand? He saw it. He saw this day. Abraham rejoiced when he saw this day. You are in this day, you are never rejoicing. You are moving from problem to problem. Abraham, he saw this day and he rejoiced to see a day like this one where the children of God will know who they are and manifest and function like that. Abraham rejoiced and he saw it. He saw that time where men will no longer be enslaved by the devil. Do you know what I'm talking about? When men are like God on earth. When men are in God on earth. Where God is in men on earth. And they have become one where men have become the habitation of God on earth. Abraham saw it. So Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He rejoiced to see We can trade the two, right? Yes, sir. Wow. I want to welcome all of you to Rematon, our Rematon service. We know you have been blessed throughout this weekend. Amen. Amen. I know, and we know that you have, you have set yourself on fire, ready for something. <laughs> so we want to welcome all of you. To today's service also amen. amen we are occupying ourselves in the things of the spirit whilst we watch and wait for the for the next phase what do you guys think yes, shout hallelujah. hallelujah so yesterday we talked about certain important truths concerning the church amen we talked about the fact that Christianity is our fellowship with the Father, right? Yes, sir. And our fellowship with the Son. And we said Christianity is not serving God. 
the Old Testament folks were serving God. We are in fellowship with the Father. And we said when we talk about fellowship with the Father and His Son Jesus Christ, we are talking about our inclusion in them. And this is so important. We are included in the Father. We are included in the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So Christianity is not about serving God. You know. But in Christianity, there is an act of service. Amen. Amen. And this is so important. It's so important that we realize as Christians that we are included in deity now. We are included in God now. It is very important. Do, do you get what I'm saying? We are included in God. God is included in us. There are spiritual activities taking place inside of us. And we also have spiritual activities that we are performing in God. God is performing certain spiritual activities in us. And we are also performing certain spiritual activities in God. You don't hear what I said? So certain activities are going on. Amen. Amen. And it's important that we walk in this kind of knowledge or this kind of understanding. You know. And be built up in this kind of understanding. Yes, be built up. Yes, we must be built up in this kind of understanding. Are you, are you hearing me? Yes, Pastor. We are growing in this kind of understanding. We are being edified in this kind of understanding. You know, to that level of knowledge and grace where this understanding becomes a daily walk. Amen. Amen. That is Christianity. Yes, sir. You know, that's the Christian walk. That's the Christian life. Where Christians or men are living on earth like Christ because that is who they are yes, sir. so I said the new man is a new man in Christ and many people don't know that the, the new man is a new man in Christ yes, you know the one who is born again when we talk about the new man we are talking about the human spirit that is newly born we call it we call, we call it we say we've been born again so once you are born again you are born again yes your human spirit is born again and that human spirit is placed, positioned in Christ. Yes, so there is no day where you are afar off from Christ. Hallelujah. Or apart from Christ. Yes, you know, you are not seeking him. Hmm. Do, do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. You are not seeking Christ. You have Christ. Yes, I have Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, and that was what we were trying to talk about. Or we started talking and, and dealing dealing with it yesterday shout hallelujah hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying yes pastor and then we entered into some section that i said i'll touch today but before i touch it to touch that section let's go back to john chapter six i think we're study three going amen amen you know christianity we are included in christ we live in christ we dwell in christ it's god his god is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son jesus christ so we are called on to be sharers in christ jesus we are sharers in are you are you there I'm here, sir. and this is so important come on shout glory glory take me to john 17 right quickly it's so important christianity your Christian understanding must change. Your spiritual understanding of Christ and you must change. Amen. Amen. Yes, must change. Must change. You cannot explain the Christian from the Old Testament. Mm. You can't fully explain Christ from the Old Testament. You can fully explain Christ from the New Testament. Yes, Amen. Amen. And when you explain Christ, you have explained God. Yes, sir. Because Christ is God exposed. Is that not powerful? It's powerful, sir. You know, so John chapter 17, let's go to from verse 19 quickly. This is the, the, what, the Lord's Prayer, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the Lord's Prayer. 
Okay. It's the Lord's prayer. I don't know why they said the Lord's prayer. So our Father, what in heaven? I don't know. <laughs> this is the real, actual Lord's prayer. This is the prayer He made before He went to die. You know. Are you are you are you looking at it? Yes, sir. Yes. So it says, and for their sake, from verse one is very powerful, but we can't read throughout. We don't have time to. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. Are you are you are you ready for some action? Yes, Pastor. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Uh -huh. Neither pray I for these only. That's verse what? 20. Okay. Neither pray I for these only, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So Jesus prayed for us. Do you see there? Yes, sir. He prayed for all those who will believe through the preaching that they will preach. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Continue that they all may be one do you see it there that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they also may be one in us do you see it yes pastor so he's talking about as the father is in him and he jesus is in the father that we also who believe in him will all be one you know then he says that they that they also may be one in what in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me do you see it yes sir that we all may be one in us when he talks about one he's not talking about regards with to unity <laughs> Did you understand? Yes, pastor. unity i see there is some kind of uh, divisiveness you know and and we are uniting you know that kind of thing he's talking about oneness yes, sir. He's talking about an inseparable oneness. Mm, He's talking about union. No, there's a difference between union and unity. Is that not true? <laughs> yes, sir. So he's talking about a union mm. or a unison. Yes, sir. Where the Father is in Christ and Christ is in the Father and we are in Christ. Mm. And because Amen. we are in Christ, we are in the Father also. Yes, sir. So that there is no, there is no separation of us from Christ or the father mm. that's what he's saying here do you see it there yes sir or maybe you need a newer translation but this is powerful <laughs> that the world may believe go to verse 22 wow what a prayer have you seen the prayer yes sir this is what why we are doing this remarkable what do you guys think yes sir because jesus prayed this prayer many christians are still living as if jesus is somewhere and they are somewhere <laughs> you know but jesus prayed this yes, sir. he didn't just pray that he did it he made it happen mm through his resurrection yes sir so if we don't teach this truth for christians to know and be swollen headed mm. do you do what i'm doing yes, sir. You christians might be swollen headed <laughs> when we meet we meet we meet people and we are so we are swollen headed mm. we are full of joy mm. we are full of big things we mm. talk big mm. do you understand yes, pastor. we think big we think big sir mm. i told you yesterday jesus said before abraham was i am yes sir is that true? Yes, sir. A greater than Solomon is here. Yes, sir. I'm taking you to somewhere else. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. And the glory which thou gavest me, look at it there, I have given them that they may be one even, even as we are one. Mm. The glory which the, that, the glory that you gave me, I have given them. Do you see there? Yes, pastor. So that we, we will be one even as, or they may be one even as we are one. Uh-huh. He's giving us the glory. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We are not chasing the glory. No. We are not saying, show us thy glory, O Lord. <laughs> show us thy glory once more. <laughs> Let the dew of heaven bring us a refreshing. Show us. You see, it's powerful. <laughs> as powerful as it is, that is not the truth. Aye. Do you see it there? Yes, Pastor. Did I say that it's not the truth? No, sir. Who said it? The word, sir. The word. People think the Bible is a religious book for Christians. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. <laughs> Let me not go into that. Then look at verse 23, right? Can you take us back to 22 so that they see that the song I sang? I didn't I didn't change anything there. I'm just letting you see. So you see, and the glory which thou givest me, I have done what? Giving oh, can we all shout it there? One to go. I have done what? Giving them. 
the glory which thou givest me i have given them i didn't say this this is praying he says he has already given the glory mm, hallelujah. have we received the glory yes, sir. so we are not telling god to show us the glory no, sir. why is that coming from it's coming from moses mm. it's coming from the old testament yes, sir. are you are you there yes sir. it's coming from the old testament is everything okay there yes sir it's coming from the old testament do, do you understand yes sir they are the ones who are saying show us your glory lord mm. Do you understand? Yes, Lord, sir. show us your glory. That's why I said the church has stuck with the Old Testament for a long time. Too long, sir. It's too long. So most of the things we have done, you know, and projected and taught and all that are based on the Old Testament. But you should understand the church in the wilderness and the church of Jesus Christ now. Yes, sir. The church on earth, the church on the throne. Mm. Hallelujah. Do you know what I'm talking about? We should understand the difference. Mm. The glory which thou givest me says, I have given them. Yes. And we have received the glory. Hey. Hallelujah. I have received the glory. Can somebody steal that glory? No, sir. He says, Jesus said, I have given them. He says, somebody has stolen my glory. Ah, what do you mean by that? Mm. He stole it from Jesus? Mm. Or he stole it when Jesus was passing it over? Or you think Jesus said, I will be giving them? So it's no. now. No. He says, I have given. Okay. Is that not true? Yes, sir. I'm giving them. We have received. I have received. He prayed this prayer before we all got born again. Yes, sir. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yes, sir. Is that not powerful? It's powerful. So we are not now saying, show us thy glory, O oh Lord. Mm. Let your glory fall mm. in this place. <laughs> Let your do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. What are you talking about? Which glory is falling in which place? Mm. We are glorified ones. Yes, sir. We are full of glory. Yes, sir. I'm full of glory. The glory has been given in its fullness. Yes, sir. And we are full of glory. Yes, sir. Oh, shout glory to that. Glory. Then he continues in his prayer. He says what? Verse 23. I in them. Do you see that? Yes, sir. I, so Christ lives in me. Christ lives in me. And you in me. Say the Father lives in me. The Father lives. Or in the me. Father lives in Christ. The Father lives. And in Christ, Christ lives in me. And Christ lives. So in I me. in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect. They may be what? Made perfect. Made perfect in one. That word he uses for perfect is for a reason. We are made perfect in our spirits. Mm. That's why I said when I was talking about this, that the concept of the new birth, yes, the concept of the new birth, I was talking about the human spirit that we have or we are is different. Did yes, I sir. talk about that? Yes, sir. Why? That human spirit cannot be subject to what Adam's, the first Adam, man, Adam's human spirit was subjected to. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, pastor. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me mm. and hast loved them. And thou hast loved me. Do you mm. see it? Yes, sir. I in them and you in me, that they may be made one, perfect in one. Mm. So that the world may know, you see, mm. that thou hast sent me. How will the world know that the Father has sent him when we are one? When the world, that's what they said, when they saw the boldness of mm. Peter and the mm. other guys, they took knowledge. knowledge. They took notice. They said, wow. Aye. These guys have been with Jesus. Ah, glory. You know. But we are we are moving it forward where mm. people see us and they say these guys are in Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Pastor. These are Christians. Yes, they are in God. Yes, sir. They are in do you understand? They are in Christ. Yes, sir. Christ is in them. Mm. People will take knowledge of us. Yes, sir. Oh, shout glory. Glory. Did you see it there? Yes, so when we talk about Christianity, he didn't say here that they will be serving me, Father. And do you understand what he was saying here? Yes, and, and, and I'll be serving you too. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about a kind of unison. Mm. A divine union. Okay? Yes, a spiritual unison. Oneness. Inseparable oneness. Mm. Inseparable oneness. Oh, is that not powerful? It's too powerful, sir. John chapter 6, quickly. Let's start reading from verse 33. Oh, leki asute eli kapaha shafala katuske. Male kufasute le kupakase teli kafakasa tele. 
Le kufa sata la kapo kose tili kapala kata. Ba leko fokusi tili kapala. So, for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven. You wake out, wake up with boldness. You stand up with boldness. You walk out with boldness. You are not defined by what somebody is defining or saying. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Or how somebody thinks about you. Yes, sir. You are defined by how God thinks about you. Yes, sir. And he has already taught and given it to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. 24. Mm -hmm. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Uh -huh. It's a long reading, but let's just read. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Mm -hmm. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Hallelujah. Do you see that? Do you see why we are not hungry for God? Yes, sir. Do you see it there? Yes, pastor. Go back there. It looks like you are jumping. What do you guys think? And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never what? Test. Shall never test. He has settled that matter. What do you guys think? It's true, sir. We are not thirsty for God. No, sir. He am the bread of life. Mm. He that cometh to me mm. shall never hunger. Mm. And he that believeth on me shall never test. Yes, sir. Do we have spiritual hunger? <laughs> Our spiritual test? No. No, sir. But let's continue. I don't want to hit on certain things now. 36. Mm -hmm. But I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. Continue. 30. Mm -hmm. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Uh -huh. Continue. 38. Let's follow the reading. For I came down from heaven. Do you see it? Yes, sir. Not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Uh -huh. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he had given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Continue. I'm the bread from heaven. Continue. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. 41. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. Do you see another, another bomb there? <laughs> yes, sir. The Jews were wondering, the forefathers received bread. The Old Testament guys, right? Yes, sir. And they received bread from heaven. Jesus, Jesus said, I am the bread from heaven. Mm. Is this not powerful? It's too powerful, sir. So the Jews started wondering, why I am the bread which came down from heaven? How can he be the bread which came down from heaven? This is a human person standing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. No wonder he said he came unto his own. Mm. But his own received him not. He came unto his own. I am the bread which came down from heaven. Continue. Uh -huh. I'm showing you some certain scriptures. And they said, it's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph. You see what they say? So when we talk like the way we talk, they say, is this not Pastor Prince? Uh, Do you understand? Is this not Brother Do this? Ah, don't we know him? Uh, <laughs> that's the same way but jesus was living you no know, in consistency with his heavenly perspective mm. or perception mm. Mm. with an heavenly what perception yes, he wasn't thinking like he they saw him grow up you know he was even playing football you know and all that he had they had put down as, the, all that aside it's like when paul telling us says that henceforth know we no man after the flesh okay. He says, we know we know man after the flesh. Hence, we are not known after the flesh. Do you understand? We don't know ourselves after the flesh. We know ourselves after the spirit. We know ourselves after Christ. It's, an, it's, it's intentional. You decide to not know yourself after the flesh. Because the scripture says that you are not recognized after the flesh. But you are recognized after Christ. And he said, it's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Continue. 
Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Remember not among yourselves. Uh -huh. Continue. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Uh -huh. It is written in the prophets, they shall be all taught of God. Do you see it? Yes, Pastor. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh unto me. Is this not powerful? Too powerful, say. Wow. Do you know I'm raising this scripture? Now compare it to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, quickly. Oh, legu azitala agosh etele kapa. Balekosh telebeisa. From verse 16. Moreover, oh, this is verse 1. Do you see there? Yes, Pastor. The cup of blessing, this is our communion word scripture right yes, sir. the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of christ mm. the bread which we break do you see it yes, is it not the communion of the body of christ mm. the bread which we break jesus said i'm the bread from heaven is that what he said yes, sir. is it the bread that we break during communion during communion service right yes, is it not the communion of the body of christ mm. go to verse 17 this is what i'm looking at for we being many do you see it? We being many. Yes, sir. We are what? One bread. Do you see the scripture there? Yes, Pastor. First Corinthians 10 verse 17. Mm -hmm. We being many are what? One bread. Are one bread. So this scripture is a, is a bomb blast. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. It says we being many. It says it's not the communion of the, of the, of the, of the what? Go to 16. The bread which we break. It's not the communion of the body of Christ. The bread which we break. The bread which we break. Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Verse 17. Then it says, we, For we being many are one bread. We being many. Are we many? Yes, sir. But it says, we, Even though we are many, we are one bread. We are one bread. And one body. Mm -hmm. For we are all partakers of that one bread. Hallelujah. This is so powerful. Why is this so powerful? Hallelujah. Because it shows that if Jesus said it's the bread from heaven, and it says, We being many are one bread. We are forming part of the bread. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one bread. It says one bread. This is two bread. No, sir. One bread. So we are part of the. How should I put it? We are partakers in that bread. Yes, sir. It is we can't mention the bread, you know, without us. Yes, sir. We are talking about inclusion. Hallelujah. In the bread. I don't know whether you caught what I just said. Yes, sir. It's talking about our oneness, our inclusion in the bread. That's why I always say that you can't talk about Christ without the church. Yes, sir. Once you say Christ, the church is included yes, already. Sir. Yes, sir. Is that not? Did you, did you catch the picture? Yes, Pastor. He's talking about us. All together as one bread. The church and Christ as one bread. Not two bread. No, sir. Joined together. It says one bread. Oh, is this not powerful? It's too powerful, sir. Yes, this is so powerful. I'm not talking about the body of Christ now, but this is so powerful. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. Just thinking about this. I'm one bread. We be me, we have one bread. One bread. And one body. Then say we are all partakers. We are all sharers in that one bread. We are all sharers in that one bread. So when we take the bread and we are breaking. Even though we are breaking, it says that we are, we are partaking of the, what, the body of Christ. We are breaking the bread. But we are included in that bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not a bread, some, a bread somewhere and we are all trying to get some. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? We are all in that bread. He doesn't consider the bread different from us. He doesn't say Jesus Christ is the bread and all of us. In the gospel, he said, I am the bread. In that place, it says we are all one bread. Yes, sir. How did it happen? Through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his resurrection, once we say one bread, we are all included as long as you are born again in that one bread. We all form the one bread. Hallelujah. Did you catch what I said? Yes, Pastor. Why did I bring so that you know what I'm talking about? That the Christianity as a call into God, into Christ. Oh, Balaka Santalabaha. Is this not powerful? It's too powerful, sir. This is powerful. 
Now take us to John chapter 15. Oh, Liga Bahasada Hadosh. Lege Diva Laga Hasada Lagadosh. Oneness. Say, I'm one with Christ. I'm one with Christ. Yeah. Jesus speaking said, I am the bread from heaven. I am the bread from heaven. Oh. So, John chapter 15, verse 15, right? Where were we dealing with yesterday? Let's go back. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. I just did a, a small recap of our oneness. Say, I'm so one with Christ. I'm so one with Christ. When you show up in the plane, that is Christ showing up. Yes. Don't ever feel, that's why we say, I am who Christ is. Mm -hmm. This is why I say it in the conversation, I am who Christ is. I have what Christ has. You know, when people who are new, it looks new to them. Why does it mean that I am who Christ is? This is what we mean. Mm -hmm. We are so one with Christ. Yes, do you understand? Yes, Pastor. We are so one with Christ. We, so one. we can't be separated no, sir. on any grounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are living in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are living in the person of Jesus. Yes, sir. We are living as the persons of Jesus. Yes, sir. yes. This is the Christian. Mm -hmm. And this is what Christ wants us to know. He wants us to know these things and to be able to live like that or live as such. If you don't know it, you live like a religious folk. If you don't know it, you'll be living like what I said. You are living just serving God. But there is more to Christianity. There is more to your life. There is more to your purpose in Christ. Where you live and function like Christ. Yes, sir. Everywhere. Everywhere, sir. He says we show for we do we show forth as what? Living epistles. Mm. He calls us living epistles. Mm. He says we, we manifest the savor of his knowledge everywhere. Mm. Ah. Hallelujah. The fragrance of his knowledge. We manifest the fragrance of his knowledge everywhere. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. The fragrance of his knowledge. Hallelujah. That's our life. Yes, sir. We are displaying God's knowledge. Yes, sir. We are displaying Christ's knowledge. Yes, sir. We are displaying it everywhere. Hallelujah. In the nations, we are displaying it. Glory. We are displaying this kind of knowledge. Yes, sir. The knowledge is causing us to live as such. Yes, sir. Is that not what he said? Yes, sir. So it says, hence what I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord is doing or does. But I have called you friends. Hence what I call you not servants. Do you see there? Hence what I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord is doing. Then it says, hence what is not calling us servants, servants. Because the servants don't know what the Lord is doing. He calls us friends. He was talking to God to the disciples. In the New Testament, he calls us sons. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He says, he calls us sons, right? Yes, sir. Because he's trying to let us know that we know what the Lord is doing. Say, I know what the Father is doing. I know what the Say, Father I know what the Lord is doing. I know what the Lord is doing. Says, but I have called you friends for all things that what is the father doing? The father is doing all things that he has heard of the father and he has made known unto us. Yes, the father is doing the revelation of his will. Yes, sir. He says, All things that I have heard of my father. That's revelation. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, he says, I have made known unto you. Not I'm about to make known unto no. you. I've made known. Made you see, known. throughout the school, he's talking about no, 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 yes, sir. knowing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you see there? Yes, sir. <laughs> I have made known unto you, and that's what we are also doing. Yes, sir. What we have received of the Father in the epistles, we are making known unto you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. As a son of God, as a friend of God in court, because that's what the word he uses here. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. Oh, we are there, shout glory. Glory. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. Oh, leka fasto leka bule koshata laba. 
I just want to see, check out the Greek word Jesus is there. Come on, shout glory. glory. Is that not powerful? It's powerful, sir. Balakosho. So he is made known unto us that which he has received of the Father, right? Yes, Pastor. And because of that, we are not ignorant of what the Father is doing. So sometimes Christians live like we don't know what God is doing. Did I say that yesterday? Yes, sir. And I said sometimes people say that mostly when things are not going the way they are expecting, or when things are going wrongly, or when uh, certain negative and evil things happen, you know, and in a way to, to console, we say, oh, we don't know, you know, we don't know what God is up to. Let's leave it all to God, you know. But when you grow in this knowledge, you don't leave things all to God. Mm. Are you get what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. You don't leave things all to God. Yes, sir. You want that event to change. Yes, you don't like it that way. No. Oh, I don't. I don't. I'm not hearing an amen somewhere. Amen. And I gave an example that you can have maybe a girlfriend or something, or a wife or something, a husband. And the person is sick unto death. And you've done everything, the person is still sick unto death. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. The question is, why is the person so sick in your hands and never be cured? Mm. What is the will of the Father? That you cure the person. Yes, Pastor. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the right will. Yes, now, I'm not saying this so that maybe if you have gone through something, I'm, I'm trying to get you to be where you are supposed to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> you didn't hear that? Yes, Pastor. And to think right yes, and to know right. Yes, sir. You know, and to be interested in this kind of thing I'm sharing. So you don't live like a handicapped person. Mm. You said in the last quote, say the Christian is not a handicapped. What is that quote? Let me just bring it up. Say the Christian is not a handicapped not a person. Handicapped person. <laughs> Seeking divine intervention. No. Do you see why we are not seeking divine intervention? Yes, sir. But do you know everyone thinks that, that we are Christians are seeking divine intervention? In fact, I can say about 95% oh. Christians and even ministers. Yes, sir. We are living to see, see the world is, is unpredictable. All we can rely on is divine intervention from God. Mm. That's why we are praying. Pray without ceasing. Because we are, do, you, do you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, Pastor. Yeah. It's good. Pray with the Bible. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are tuning the, the Christian in a particular way that is wrong. Yes. Are you get what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. The will of the Father is revealed. It's revealed. You know, what pleasure does God take pleasure in a person having a miscarriage? Does God take pleasure in a stillborn? No. Or stillbirth? Whatever no, is that? No, sir. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. God is rejoicing in heaven that you lose a baby. So we don't know what he's really up to because the baby... Do you know what I'm talking about? No! But you can live your Christian life like that. Where everything that happens, you have no, not, no control. You have no knowing. Do you understand? No control. And then you just, you just uh, re relate it to... I don't know what God is really doing. We don't know what God... Oh God, why have you... Oh God, why? Mm. And some even stop church. Mm. Do you understand? Some become passive oh, with this thing. Leave them. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. And I was saying that no, that is not the Christian life. I've said before, the Christian life is living like Christ, right? Yes, sir. So you see issues like that. Why is the person unable to be cured by me? And it even led to death. Why was the person not be able to be raised back to life by me? You know? We are pushing the blame on you. You are doing what? Pushing the blame on you. You are pushing the blame on you. And you are provoked by that to want to know more in order to be able to do more. Yes, sir. So that in the next few years, when a situation like that comes before you, you are no longer needing God to come and interfere. Because you are there. Gosh, I'm there. This is what this is the truth. This is what Christ is looking at. And I said, quit blaming God. Because if God is appearing, you will be shocked what you will say. Mm. 
but he doesn't need to appear he says for that the spiritual man judges all things the one who is spiritual can judge things why did this relative of mine just die before me i couldn't do anything the spiritual man goes into the scriptures to find out why do you, do you get what I'm talking yes, about? Sir. And says, no, this thing must not reoccur mm. before me. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, pastor. Because they do happen. He says, the one for, we, we, I don't, I don't call you servant because the servant does not know what the father is doing. Give me back the quote and let me read it. What do you guys think? Sir. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. This thing I'm sharing with you is a secret. It's what is a mystery. Mystery, sir. What I'm sharing with you like this is a mystery. That Old Testament prophet was on his mountain with his, with his what? His boy. They were enjoying themselves. Do you understand? Yes, on the mountain somewhere, enjoying himself. When the woman's child died. He did not know. He did not have a revelation. He didn't have to have a revelation first. Oh, why didn't Papa see? Oh, why didn't that? He didn't have to see. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. He had to do. He was an Old Testament man. The most amazing thing, eh, but Alfred, is that after that happened, the man came. When he saw it, what happened? So the child is gone. He's gone. She take my word. It's an Old Testament man, so the word was important. Do you understand? took the road there nothing still happened then he went there why was he interested in bringing the child back he didn't know the child would die he was staying with the woman as a prophet a major prophet what do you guys think yes, sir. and the child died what 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 a a level of thinking what a, what a level of wisdom or knowledge level. or i don't know whether you say a type do you understand yes, this you are talking about old testament man hmm. why 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 will he the first thought hmm. is not to say woman you know hmm. the lord give it you know ah. and he ah, take yeah. it you know hey. we are raising a weak church yes sir ah. yes sir. did you see that quote today the christian is not a handicapped person seeking divine intervention mm. i said that's a wrong perception yeah. the christian is a divine person in christ jesus mm. ordained unto divine works yes sir this alone is a sermon what do you guys think it's true sir in christ we can do anything ah hallelujah i can do all things through christ i don't know what he said yes sir he is not a handicapped person doing what seeking divine intervention I think today's quote says what? Was it today's quote? Or news of the day? What about it? Today it talks about the week, eh? Look for that quote too. Just look at it. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. Okay. It's powerful. Is that not powerful? It's powerful, sir. But who is following what I'm saying right now? Is this not so powerful? So powerful. The church that we have raised is a it's a church that is over dependent do, do you see what i'm talking over dependent their whole life is like we are depending on god you know we live in him but the our the, our our understanding of the, depending on him is wrong do you get what i'm talking about our understanding that we've given to the church when it comes to depending on god is wrong there is a there is a realm in christianity I've said, i said it the last time there's a realm in christianity or there's a realm of understanding knowledge work you know in christ such that the things that we are just there waiting waiting if we have if we have entered the knowledge mm. do, do you know what i'm talking about yes, and entered the grace we will not be there waiting waiting no sir i don't know whether you understood what i said yes, there is a set I, I don't know how to put it there's a certain life do you understand yes, that has been given to us mm. as christians it's a higher life yes sir yes because we are higher beings yes, we are not like the first man adam no it's a higher kind of life it's a it's a higher way of living it's a higher way of doing things but we've stayed with the natural and with the normal for a long time we've stayed with the religion for a long time 
you know, and it has become normal. There is a certain way. If you want to know which certain way or which way I'm talking about, read the Gospels about Jesus. You know, he did that as an example. Yes, sir. Right. The things he did. And your projection is there. This is what I'm doing right. in him. I can, I can do this. I can do this. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Pastor. Did you catch what I said? Yes, Pastor. I said the church today is projected as a weak sick or disabled church trying to reach out to God for a change do you see that yes, we have projected a weak church that is over depending on God everything is like we have to depend on him you know how can a man hear that where he's staying the woman is staying with the child has died and never thinks about inquiring even from God no, and work, walks from the mountain and goes straight to say, bring me that child. He cannot die. Do you see that? Yes, sir. This is an Old Testament man. Yeah. And we are greater than him. Yes, sir. But look at him. Look at the, the kind of way he was thinking. Mm. He wasn't blaming God. Oh, God, why didn't you tell me? Oh, God, this man has been good and has fed me. Oh, you know, at the goodwill, we say those things. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, sir. At the goodwill level. But we are we are we are pushing are we pressing into something we are paul said forgetting those things which are behind and we, are we reaching, reaching forward, forward to something yes, are we reaching forward to yes, something sir. and that's knowledge so the word he uses for friends is philos he's talking about an associate you are my associates a companion do you see there yes, sir. You are my companion. You are my associate. And in Christ, he says, we are what? We are associates of divinity. Yes, sir. We are associates of Christ. Yes, sir. We are companions of Christ. Yes, sir. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you there? Yes, Pastor. Now move straight. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. So I'm not calling you as servants again. Because the servant does not know what his father is doing. So I know what the father is doing. I know through scriptures. The father is raising the dead. Yes, sir. The father is healing the sick. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The father is performing miracles. Yes, pastor. And he's doing it when I do it. I don't know whether you got what I said. Yes, pastor. There is that oneness in the New Testament. Like I said, we are the productive arm. Oh, we are the branch. So when we produce results, the Father has produced results. Yes, Pastor. When the mango uh, branch bears fruit, the mango tree has bought fruit. Is that not true? The fruit must not be on the tree. Or on the vine. Or the main tree. It must be on the branch. But when it's on the branch, it's a tree. Is that not true? It's true. So we are the that, that's a, we, we are the one to extend the works of Jesus. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. And has given unto us the ministry of reconciliation. Do you see it there? We are the extension of God on this earth. We are the extension of Christ on this The church is the extension of Christ on this earth. Hallelujah. Christ sees himself still on earth. Mm, mm, mm. Do you get what I'm talking yes, about? Sir. Christ sees himself on earth. Mm. When he looks at you, he's looking at himself on earth. Mm. That's what many years ago I said we are the duplication of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When, when Christ looks at Brother Walash, he's looking at himself here. When he looks at, at Sister So and so, he's looking at himself here. When, because he's filled the person. Yes, so what is he expecting? Those works mm. or greater works. Do you understand? But greater works accompanies greater knowledge. Yes, sir. Or greater light. Yes, sir. As long as a Christian is just thinking weak and beggarly, he can't do, he can't even think that I can do. Hmm. I can do. Can I do? But Paul says, there are people who have been saying, there are many who are still saying, oh, I can't do anything. No, this, all these works, you see, they are all not. Hmm. Do you understand? But Jesus said, the works that I do shall you do. Hmm. You do. Hey. You do also. Ah, yeah. You do. 
do. So he said, I also do. I also do. I also do, sir. Is that not what he said? Yes, sir. Shall you do? The word is you do. You do. Sir. You do. You sir. oh say say me do. Me, me do. do. Me do. Me. Say I do. I, I do. do. I do. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then when he moves there, he says it says, I can do all things. Oh. That was Paul. He says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens I can do it. I can do all things through the energy of Christ. That's what he's talking about. I can do. I can do. How and I can do mentality. Yes, sir. Don't live like a disabled Christian. No, sir. Or an unable Christian. Yes, sir. Don't let the event have the final scene. Never. Move. Mm. I said it many years ago. I said the finality of every situation depends on the Christian. Relax with the Christian, sir. Hi. Don't let those events have the final scene. Yes, sir. How will you do that? By pressing in knowledge. Yes, sir. By what? Pressing, pressing in knowledge. Pressing in knowledge. Because it says, I called before the servant know it. Do you see it there? Yes, the servant what? Know it. Know it. The servant know it not. Do you see it there? Yes, Pastor. He's talking about knowledge. Knowledge, guys. Yes, sir. I do. The servant know it not. What is Lord do it but i have called you friends companions right yes sir associates for all things that i have heard of my father so, so what is it that the best thing he can give to his companion are the words he has heard from the father yes, sir. that's the best i can give you the words that we have heard from the father yes, right yes sir mm. This is so important. Take me to, before I go to Romans, this scripture, we will we, we look at Romans. But before there, go to Ephesians chapter 4. I want you to see certain things. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. So important. Oh, Laga Bahasha. Lego Boho Sude Ligadaha. Belego Shondo Leko Senteleba. Lego Bolo go Shustelebaha. Malete Kebe Lego Santalaba. Are we there? I read the Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12, right? Let's go to verse 9. Balaka sata la basata. Lego bogo son to lo bongo shustele kete. Balaka sata la braka sata la baha. Lego vaga sata la baha. Say, I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I'm a proud Christian. I'm a proud Christian. I'm a knowledgeable Christian. I'm a knowledgeable Christian. Hey. Now that he ascended, what is it? But he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that might fill all things. Uh -huh. And he gave some apostles. Do you see there? Yes, Pastor. And some prophets and some evangelists, right? Yes, sir. And some pastors and teachers. And he gave some. Then he says, for the what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Do you see it there? Yes, Pastor. The word perfecting is equipping, right? Equipping the saints or furnishing the saints with knowledge. The perfecting of the saints. Do you see there? Yes, Pastor. And he says, Why are the saints perfected? For the work of the ministry. Then he says, For the edifying. The word edify also means to build up. For the building up of the body of Christ. Do you see there? Yes, sir. So we are building up the body of Christ. We are equipping the body of. What am I doing now? I'm equipping you. And you see, when a person is equipped, the person is able to handle things by himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. 
When a person is equipped, you are equipped to be able to handle things. You are equipped to be able to do certain things. But when you are equipped, it's for the work of the ministry. That is for the edifying, which is the building up, right? Yes, sir. Of the body of Christ. So we are building up the body of Christ. How are we doing that? Continue. Uh -huh. Is it still, we all come in the unity of the faith. We all come to that point where our understandings, what we understand is in sync. The unity of the faith. We are getting there. Yes, sir. Oh, I, I guess we are getting there. there. We are getting there. There were days where men thought eternal life was what you go and enjoy when you go yes, to sir. heaven. Yes, sir. Now, it looks like now 80% of Christians know eternal life is what we have. What yes, do you guys yeah. think? Yeah. But it wasn't so. Yeah. Yeah. So we are still pushing. Yeah. We are pushing the knowledge. We are spreading the knowledge. Yes, so I'm spreading the knowledge. I'm spreading the knowledge. So says, till we all come in the unity. Says, till we all come in the unity of the faith. We come where we come to that point where we all understand the word of God in a particular way. Yes, Just like in WCN, where we see the word of God from a different perspective. What do you guys think? It's true, sir. And then we move from this WCN to the whole body of Christ. Mm, hallelujah. There were times where the the, the old churches, what was the, 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 the orthodox churches, never believed in speaking in tongues. Yes, sir. Is that not true? It's true sir. But now they do. Yes. So we are coming. Yes, sir. We are coming. Where they will now understand these truths we are sharing. Yes, sir. We all come in the unity of the faith. End of the knowledge. Do you see there? Yes, sir. We all come. Are we coming there? We are coming, sir. He's talking about an arrival. Yes, sir. When we arrive in the unity of the faith. And we arrive in what? In knowledge. The knowledge of the Son of God. Till we all come, he says, we are equipping the saints. Is that what he's saying? Yes, and we are equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. And then we are building up the body of Christ. Yes. And we are building up the body of Christ. And we are building up the body of... You see why I'm interested in teaching? Yes, sir. This, these things, you carry them from here to eternity. Aye. Are you getting what I'm saying? Getting in heaven, you are still knowledgeable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, sir. Sister, we all come in the unity of the faith. So what, is, what, what are we doing? He gave some apostles, gave prophets, all of that, to equip the saints. You know? And when the saints are equipped, they engage in the work of the ministry. Like I was saying yesterday, you are somewhere, and then you are doing two people, three people, you started a fellowship, a satellite church. Are you getting and the people are connecting to whatever we are doing anywhere we are until we show up there also to help you to build grow do you know what i'm talking about the work of the ministry the work of the ministry is not just for the pastor it is for the church yes, for sir. the brethren yes sir the pastor equips the brethren to do the work of the ministry yes, sir. did you hear what i said yes pastor. the pastor equips the brethren to do what the work of the ministry the work of the ministry it is those works of the ministry you are going to be accounting yes sir To Jesus, you tell Jesus, This is what I did. You did nothing, then what will you say? Are you are you there? Yes, sir. But this still we all come in the unity of the faith. And we all come, the word come is to arrive. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You arrive in knowledge. You arrive in knowledge. You arrive in the unity of faith. We talk the same language. Yes, sir. We think the same way. Yes, sir. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. We speak the same way. We handle things the same way. Ah, hallelujah. Have you, have you seen such a thing before? Yes, Pastor. Oh, if you are in church, shout glory. Glory. And we arrive, it says, and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Do you see there? Yes, sir. And of the knowledge of the Son of God and of the knowledge of the son of god till we all arrive of what in the knowledge we've come to that point of the knowledge of the son of god knowledge of who the son the of son god. of god this is revelational knowledge yes sir unto a perfect man 
what would that lead us to a perfect man we all together a perfect man is a perfect is a fully equipped man a fully grown man have you seen when a person says i'm coming to get married yes sir it's a fully grown man yes sir he is not sitting down and the parents are telling him what he should do no no, no. Do, do you understand what i'm talking about yes sir he is a he has come he has grown the parents are going to say, this my child has grown he's not that uh, 80 17 years or 15 years no. old boy no sir oh shout glory glory fully grown Aye. say fully grown fully grown say fully grown man fully grown man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ do you see there yes, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ oh unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ unto the measure of the stature right yes sir of the fullness of christ the measure of the stature when we look at you and we can see a level of knowledge at work because of a level of growth knowledge has led you to grow right yes, sir. at a particular measure at a particular stature you see what i say we are pressing into the yes, sir. knowledge yes, sir. Hmm. this is so important the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ he's talking he's talking with regards to knowledge yes, sir. The measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ in knowledge. You are, I, I say, I say, I say, you, you fully know, even as you are known of God, of Christ. Do you understand? It means that Christ's depth of you, who you are in Christ Jesus, Christ's depth, you have, you have arrived at that kind of depth. You have searched. He is giving us the opportunity to get into that what do you guys think yes sir to know as he knows yes. now take me to romans chapter 11. are you there yes pastor okay no, con let's continue let's finish this one 14. Uh -huh. but who is following what i'm teaching there following sir it says that we henceforth be no more children that's what I said, i'm not a true and fro christian yes, right sir. that we henceforth be no more children oh lago ozita alaka sutelebaha do you see what he's talking about that we are no longer children do you do you meet someone and say so are you, ah, you think you are still children we are not longer do you understand yes, Even he's grown up you meet a friend so when we were children this guy pa, the way, do you understand yes sir say so that we henceforth be no more children he's talking about little child we are no longer little child or little do you understand children babies infants tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men every wind of doctrine like i said i said yesterday yes. right yes, sir. about the prophet man yes, 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 the prophet. wind of doctrine yes. you know every wind of doctrine there are certain things for children. Do you understand? Wind for there are certain doctrines for children. Is that not what he's saying here? Yes, there are certain doctrines for children. You are now going to deal with your forefathers' sacrifices. You know that they, they say forefathers that made nineteen fifty something. You are now going to trace it to deal with it. You, do you understand? Yes. You are going to cut some tree down. You know, after you cut the tree down, before now everybody can be can make progress. Mm -hmm. If you don't have those things, mm -hmm. so you have to cut some tree. You know, mm -hmm. the, all the destinies of the people are tied to that particular tree. Oh, lagahosh etoloko sir. Have you heard that thing before? Yes, sir. Those are winds of doctrines. Those yeah. are for children. Yes, Those are for babies. babies sir. Those are for babies.
heavens help those who help themselves hey. right hey. those are for babies <laughs> if you can help yourself why do you need heaven's help ah. <laughs> do you know what i'm talking about yes, yes. heaven's help do you charlie be careful heaven helps those who help themselves all these ministry things they are all lying heaven's help you do. <laughs> are we lying no sir, no, sir. <laughs> We speak the truth. Yes, sir. We speak the heavens help those who help themselves. We are heavenly enabled. Yes, sir. I'm heavenly enabled. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, pastor. We are heavily loaded. <laughs> eh? We are a full package. Full package. Of Christ. Yes, sir. Is that not true? It's true, sir. You see that mentality. That's why you say heavens help those who help themselves. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what are you talking about? What does that even mean? Mm-hmm. Because Christians have been in church and doing nothing, knowing nothing, showing nothing. Do you know what I'm talking yes, about? Sir. Running from place to place. Portraying a, a beggarly kind of religion. First of all, they are, they are portraying beggarly kind of religion too. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Heavens help those who help themselves. Heavens help those who help themselves. What do you guys think? <laughs> those who help themselves. Heavens help those who help themselves. I'm heavily helped. I'm heavily ah. helped. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. In, it's in me. It's in me, sir. The help of heaven is in my spirit. The help of heaven is That's in my the Holy spirit. Ghost. Yes, sir. Hmm. It says so that we may boldly say, <laughs> The Lord is my helper. Oh. He has said so that we may boldly say, yes, He has said, I will never leave you yes. nor forsake you, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. Yes, sir. We are, we are, we we take advantage of the help in us. Mm. Are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Pastor. It's not that I'm helping myself; the heaven will help me. Mm. Do, 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 I don't know whether you understand what yes, I'm trying pastor. to say. No, everything I'm do, I'm heavily helped. Mm. Heavily helped. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm heavenly helped. I'm heavenly helped. The ability of that's why it says it says I can do what it says through Christ. That strengthens me. Yes, through yes. Christ. Christ. I do through Christ. Mm. Christ is in me. Mm. So I do through Christ who strengthens, energizes, mm. empowers, mm. emboldens, mm. enables, yes, helps me. I step into it for results. Ah. The results is in me. Mm. It's manifesting through me. The ability for results. The ability for results is the person of the spirit in me. If I don't know this, my whole life will be looking to the air somewhere or the cloud somewhere for something. Do you understand? I don't look into heaven for help. I don't I'm not I'm not talking, I'm not giving you a time. I'm talking to you, I'm telling you what I don't I look here inside me. I know the greatest force person who pre-existed before the foundation of the earth and saw the formation of the earth. The spirit himself himself is in me, in his fullness. No one is this one is a thousand. Is that not true? The little one. It's a great nation. Great nation. <laughs> one shall put a thousand to flight. Yes, sir. Because the one is fully loaded. Fully loaded. He is more than. Don't you understand? Hmm. Say, they that be with us are ah, more than they that be with them. Glory. It says, greater is he that is in me than greater he that is, is in the world. Greater is he that is in me. Legendary. Nothing will ever be born on earth that ah, is greater. No. Nothing will ever be created on earth that is cre- mm. that is greater. Mm. Nothing will ever be developed on earth mm. scientifically that is greater. Never. <laughs> the greater one lives inside the of greater me. Greater one lives inside, inside of me. He is a person. He is a person. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. 
He says, we are no longer, we are, we are not moved from, the, the, what? Wind, every wind of doctrine. Every wind of doctrine. Christians who don't know where they are, where they should be, in knowledge. You are, in, you are everywhere. <laughs> Listen to everything. So today you think in this direction, right? Yes, sir. The next day you think in this direction. The next day you act in this direction. The next day you act in that direction. Then you hear another doctrine somewhere. Then you say, well, this doctrine is... Don't, don't you understand? People are drink, people are selling sobolo and all the others. Hey. Right? Yes, sir. People are selling sobolo. People are sending things overseas for breakthrough, right? Yes, sir. What are they sending? Say they are sending this, this soap. If you bath with it, it's an anointed soap. Why do you need an anointed soap? You, the anointed person, ah. the Christian, called hey, means yeah. an anointed person. Anointed by the Holy Ghost. It says the one who has anointed us is God. Did you hear what I said? Do you need an anointed soap? No, sir. Even the soap you bath with is anointed because you touch it. Hey. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. You need an anointing, uh, what, something. No. Anointed no. soap handkerchief. Hmm. It is for sale, 1,000 Ghana. Oh, Wind of doctrine. Wind of doctrine, sir. When I heard that thing, I heard it recently. I was like, wow. In Ghana, people are buying uh, anointed sobolo. Uh, what kind of nonsense is this? People are desperate. They want to, they, do you understand? People are, I don't know, those guys, I don't think they are Christians. They are religious guys. Mm. So desperate, desperation. Are you doing here what I said? I shall glory ah, to that. Glory. You need Sobolo to have a breakthrough, mm. a Christian. You see what I'm talking about, yes, about Christianity? Mm. So anybody comes and deceives and they, they, they are, that's what he's talking that we are not children we are not infants have you seen an infant they are children you say a child you can deceive so i'm coming right now i'm coming i'll come and pick you out i come and pick you out meanwhile you're even traveling right <laughs> yes sir and they say oh uncle sam is coming uncle sam is coming uncle sam is going to buy and are you bringing my kfc do you understand yes, is that not true it's true yes. Yes. then if the Uncle Sam doesn't come with the KFC and all that, they just fall asleep the next day, they've forgotten it. Yeah. And they are chasing something else. You know, until maybe they meet Uncle Sam somewhere again. Two, they are, they are children. They are tossed to and fro. It's like a ship on a sea. You know, and the ship has no control. As the sea moves here, the ship goes. Do you understand? As the sea moves here, the ship... That's what, that's what's up. Even in the Ghanaian church. Today, they hear this man of God is the one who's the all gone there. Then they say another man of God. Hey, then they all gone there. Then another man of God. Oh. Is that you, they, you. Oh, Jesus. oh, Jesus. This is so sad. It's sad, sir. I'll give you a scripture right now. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. Scriptures upon scriptures. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. But it shows where the church has been. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Oh, thank God. Thank for God for these teachings. Thank God. Thank God for this vision. Yes, sir. But it says that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. I even heard some, some people, some people said, some, some people, all of you people in this church, you are all reincarnated. Hey. I said, what kind of thing is that? Which people are reincarnated? The people in the church are in a church or their church is, they are all reincarnated. In their early life, they were somewhere, somewhere. I said, if, you, if I was in that church, I'll go see the pastor. I'll say, I want to sow a seed so that I can be reincarnated back. Maybe I'll appear in a particular nation apart from Africa. Mm. Yeah. And what do you guys think? It's true, sir. And church people are clapping their hands that they are reincarnated. Our logos are telekabash. All sort of doctrines, mm. wind of doctrine, wind of doctrine. Say wind of doctrine. Wind of by doctrine. the slate of men. So there is a possibility of this. That's what he's talking about. That if we leave them as children, they will be tossed to and fro, and men, do you understand? Will give them every wind of doctrine, and by the slate of men, right? And cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Mm. Verse 15. 
Are these things not powerful? They are powerful, sir. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. But speaking, do you see it? Yes, sir. May grow up. Do you see it? Yes, sir. This is what we are doing in Ramathon. This is what we are doing. Okay? Yes, growing up into him in all things. In all things. Oh, say, I'm growing up into Christ. I'm growing up into in Christ. In all things. In all things. Which is the head. Speaking the truth in love. Do you see there? Speaking the truth in love. May grow up into him. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. Quickly. Do you have some, some spare time? Yes, sir. Are you guys getting blessed? Yes, sir. You know, I'm trying to let you know. What, what am I trying to let you know? That it says, I no longer call you servants. Right? Because yes. the servant does not know what the Lord does. Mm. But I call you associates. Because whatever I've heard of the Father, I have spoken or revealed it unto you. And we are still learning. Is that not what you are still learning? Yeah. And that's why we went into Ephesians right now. So that you know that in your Christian journey, you ought to grow into Christ. Yes, not remain children or child. You can be so desperate, eh? so desperate that even they give, you, they give you acid to bath, that it will change your story. You would bath the acid. Do you know that? Yes. You'll be buying honey, you'll be buying salt, you'll be buying sobolo, you'll be buying uh, what? Medicated soup, you call it anointed soup. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, Buffing anointed soup. Mm. Anoint a Christian, anointed person like you, full of the Holy Ghost. Oh. I'm a, I'm a Christian with a difference. I'm a Christian with a difference. Look at what he says. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord. Did you see it there? Yes, sir. Is this not powerful? Too powerful, sir. As you have therefore received, who has received Christ? I have received Christ, sir. No, those days when we say you have received Christ, it looks like a terminology. Yes. I have received Christ. But it's a reality, yes, not sir. a technology. It's a reality, sir. I've received Christ. I have received Christ. Have you ever received something before? Yes, sir. A parcel? Yes, sir. It, does it still stay with the one who delivered it? No, sir. No, no. And you now look for the parcel no, again sir. every time no, you sir. need it? Or it stays with you? It stays with me, sir. <laughs> I remember the highly esteemed man of God asked some ministers, when you got born again, what did you receive? <laughs> Most of them couldn't answer what they received. Most minister, it was a minister said, when you got born again, what did you receive? And they were saying things that were very, what? Very strange. What did you receive? They didn't know what they had received. Say, so I've received Christ. I have received Christ. When you got born, what did you receive? Say, so I received uh, a vision. Some say, I received, uh, what? What? Things that they were saying, you don't know whether it's from a Quran or a Bible. <laughs> and these are leading, they are leading people. Is that not strange? Yes, sir. But we have received Christ. Yes, sir. It says, I like, I like the, the, the scriptures. So look at how he puts it. As you have therefore received Christ. He's not asking for your opinion or something. He's telling you that you have received Christ. So maybe you are not aware you've received Christ by reading it like this. That's why you have to study the scriptures. You read and say, oh, I have received Christ. I have received Christ. Jesus the Lord. I have received Christ as the Lord. Mm -hmm. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk you in him. Do you see it there? Yes, sir. Walk in him. Walk in him. Is that not powerful? It's powerful, sir. You don't receive Christ and walk outside him. No. You know nothing about Christ. You just go to church. You are not walking in Christ. Mm -hmm. You walk in Christ when you live according to the knowledge of Christ. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Where you are controlled by the knowledge of Christ, mm -hmm. the dictates of Christ yes, in his word, when the word of God is prevailing in your life, mm -hmm. where you live by the word of God that yes, you know. Yes, sir. You are walking in Christ. Yes, Do you see that? Yes, sir. Do you see it there? Yes, Pastor. He said, if you have received Christ, do what? Walk in him. Walk in him. You walk in him. Your work is in him. Your work is in him. He's talking about a movement. That's why I said there are activities that take place in Christ. Yes, sir. That's like when we speak in tongues. Those are activities. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Spiritual activities. When we make certain declarations, 
Do you, do you know what I'm talking yes, about? We are, I'm walking in Christ. I'm walking in Christ. Oh, say, I've received Christ. I've received I'm Christ. walking in Christ. I'm 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 walking in Christ. I'm, walking in Christ. I'm, walking in Christ. I'm not walking ignorantly. I'm not walking ignorantly. Because if you walk ignorantly, you walk, you, are not, you're, you don't walk in Christ. Mm -hmm. You walk in Him. His knowledge regulates you. Yes, sir. What you see in His word is what you do. Mm -hmm. What you see Him do is what you do. Are you get what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. You are walking in Him. Walking. You have received Christ, and you are walking in Him. Then look at what it says, verse seven. Are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, balaka shatala kush ete lebasta leku avis ete leku shata laka. You know. So all the things we talk about, the negative things and all of those things, we give our attention to these things. Do you understand? We give our attention to the to the knowledge of the Son of God till we all come where in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Then we hear our cousin, our cousin just collapsed mm. and has been rushed to the hospital, and then we move our car there. Do you know what I'm talking about? We move our cars there. Malagos You can't stay here. You didn't hear, I didn't hear an amen to amen. that. We are functioning as perfect men. Yes, sir. We are functioning as men in Christ. Yes, sir. Men, men with knowledge. It says rooted and built up in him. Do you see that? Yes, sir. To be rooted. To be grounded. Do you see that? Yes, sir. We are not on the shallow level no. of knowledge. That's what he's talking about. Our understanding of Christ is not at the shallow level. Not at the basic level. I don't know whether you heard what I just said. I heard you, That's sir. what he's saying here. Yes, we are not at the shallow level of knowledge anymore. We are going deeper and deeper in deeper knowledge. And deeper in knowledge, sir. Oh, I like what Romans chapter 11 says. Talk, we are searching in Christ. We are searching in Christ. We are on a, we are on a spiritual search. Mm -hmm. Searching in knowledge, searching knowledge. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. I said, Do you get what I'm talking yes, about? Pastor. We are searching in knowledge. Yes, Do you see that? Yes, we are searching in knowledge. Yes, we are searching, 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 searching. We search. It says that the kingdom is like a, a woman who, who had who lost a coin and went sweeping, sweeping to find the coin. Do you get what I'm talking about? Pages upon pages. Pardon? Levels of revelations upon levels of revelations. Oh, yeah. Levels of insights upon levels of insights. Getting deeper into in wisdom and in knowledge. In application of knowledge. Getting deeper. It says we are rooted. We don't stay at the shallow level. No. It's the shallow level where they say, Lord, show us your glory. It's the yeah. shallow level. Yes, sir. What do you guys think? It's true, sir. I'm completely disappointed in God. That's a shallow yes, level person. Shallow level, sir. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Pastor. It says rooted. When something is rooted, it's rooted in, it's gone deeper into it. Do, do you understand? Yes, sir. It's founded in it. It says we are rooted and built up in, you see that word again? Yes, sir. To be built up. Built up where? In him. We are rooted in him and I'm built and we are built up in him. I'm rooted in Christ. You know, and I'm built up in Christ. There is no ancestral curse in Christ. No, sir. no ancestral curse in Christ. <laughs> Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. So all that's what I was saying the last I said your whole mindset, everything comes into this direction. Yeah. Not here. No, sir. <laughs> in this direction, this that this is a direction. It's Christ. Christ. The focus is Christ. Yes, sir. The person is Christ. Yes, sir. His knowledge is your knowledge. Yes. You are rooted in him. Yes, sir. You are being built up by his knowledge. Yes, sir. And his wisdom. Yes, sir. Do you see it? Yes, Pastor. You are coming into what? A perfect man. Mm, you are coming into a perfect man. Yes, sir. You are growing in him yes, onto a perfect man. Yes, Fully equipped man. Fully equipped. That man is untouchable. Wow. Untouchable. Wow. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. That man cannot be disappointed. Hey. 
he can't call a situation a disappointment. No. <laughs> do, you, do you know what he's talking about? Because he lo looks at that and he sees his ability to make an appointment Hi. here also. Yes, sir. There's, an, there's, there's an ability. See, all these things there, eh, that's what we talk about, talk about. And it's like some people are deciding our fate. No. See that kind of thing? Some people somewhere are deciding no, our no, fate. No, 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 no. We, we, we. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Jesus. Do you no, get no, what no, I'm no, talking no. about? Do you see what Jesus said? Mm. When the guy was saying that I have power to lead, to release you. Hey. <laughs> hey. The king he said, I have power to release you. Hey. He said you don't have power to oh, release yeah. you. Says if you are talking with regards to power, <laughs> I can call forth angels. Hey. That was what he was talking. He was talking about. But this is your hour. Mm. Or this is the hour of darkness. I was talking to Pilate. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. It's an, it's a, it's a, it's an authority. Mm. It's a level of authority, func functional authority mm. through knowledge. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, Pastor. It's a level of functional authority or dominion or lordship through knowledge. When you stand before a king like that and you tell him, right? Yes, you don't have power to either release no, me or not. No. It's not yes, up to sir. you. It's up to my father. Yes, mm. I am standing here because my father wills it so mm. or wants it so. Yes, wow. wow. What a way to talk. <laughs> he said, I have authority to lay down my life. Down my life. I have authority to pick it up again. Pick it up again. No one takes my life from me. He says, an authority I've received of the Father. He went and said, I am the resurrection and the hey, life. Hey. He said, Master, if you were here, our brother wouldn't have died. He said, but I am here. Your brother will come back to life. They said, no, we know you'll come back to life on the resurrection day. Is that what they were saying? Yes, sir. Then he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me shall never die. Mm. If anyone who believes in me even dies, he shall be raised back to life. <laughs> he says, do you now believe this? They are all looking at his face. Those are not just language of no. Christ. That's no. the language of the church. He was talking for us to know how to talk. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was thinking for us to know how to think. No wonder when he sent the people, he says mm. that go heal this. He says mm. raise the dead. Mm. Every day I think about that scripture. Mm. When he turned the disciple, he said, Go heal the city. He says, raise, as if raising the dead is like drinking water. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. When you go heal the sick, raise the dead. Anyone hey. that receives you, speak hey. peace there. Hey. If they don't receive you, just show off something and go. But I always think about why he said, Raise the dead. Hey. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Hey. Hmm. What is he expecting to see, Brother hmm. Alfred? That we are healing the sick and raising yes, the dead. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That we decide to let the man go or not let him go. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, no, sir. no, you can't go. It's not. You can't go. You see, it's not yet time. It's not yet time. We are deciding whether it is the time. <laughs> I'm not hearing an amen to that. Oh, amen. This, 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 this is it. This is what. This is it. This is what this means. Rooted and built up in Christ. Rooted and built up in Christ. Men are not determining things. No. We go for an interview and the man is determining when and what. Do you know what I'm talking yes, about? Pastor. A Christian? A Lord of all? Lord of all. You know, this is not, that's, this is where we... <coughs> I don't know whether you're catching what I'm saying. I'm catching it, sir. The man is determining things. It's like they are, they, are, they are deciding your fate. Ah. You know that kind of thing. Oh. Say, I, 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 I can decide your fate. Ah, yeah, but In this organization, I decide your fate. You, you go meet some, some occultic, occultic ah. man in some workplace ah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 or some yeah. atheist. Hey. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's not born again. You know, and he says, he says I, I, I decide your fate. Do you uh -huh. understand? In this organization, you came to meet me. I am the this, this, this director. I can decide your fate. Mm. When I tell you to do something, you don't do it. I can write a report. Mm. When I write those reports about you, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are what? You are finished. You are doomed. 
you are done for. Did you get what I'm talking about? I say, you know, you know, Ragada la bahaya, baka tolo bosi gedebe, lege de lebe zonda Listen to me. I want you to learn these things, know these things. This is this is where the church is getting to. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, pastor. Nobody determines my fate. Nobody. Nobody determines. You. you must make up your mind. Nobody determines ah. my fate. A lot of times I sit down and tell, why would why, why would things look like that? Do you understand? That is not the right thing. It's like when the scripture says the foundations are out of course. Or the scriptures talk about the fact that princes are walking. Ah, the thing, something is wrong somewhere. Yeah, something is wrong. Princes are walking and servants are on, on riding horses. Are riding horse. Do you, do you understand? And princes are walking. You know, and the servants are saying, you know, I decide your fate. You know, I can get you out of this organization within two seconds. Just a phone call and that's you. You are done for. Balakos Eteli Kadosh, a man of authority, man in Christ. Christ in. Do you know what it means? You enter knowledge. And you look at that person and say, You determine my fate, ah, yeah, yeah, or yeah, I yeah, determine yeah. your fate. Ah, right. I may need, be a newcomer in this organization, mm. I can still determine mm. your fate. Yes, 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 yes. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. By the time you, you release one word, the next day the guy's eyes are turning left wow. and right. Mm. They say, What happened? Mr. A couldn't come to work. Mm. What is happening? All his legs can't work. Mm. You are not killing him, his legs can't work. <laughs> Until I go there to Ooh. tell him that those legs should work, he can't come. Mm. Mm. Are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Pastor. That's control. That's what? Control. Control. You're not destroying anything. Are you destroying something? No, sir. You want to show him who you are. Mm. Those legs that you have, I can control it. Mm. If I see they shouldn't work again, they will work. Yes. Hi. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, if I pastor. say they should work again, they will work. <laughs> you control my faith. How can a leg that cannot work control yeah. faith? Hey. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, pastor. But are you get what I'm talking about? Yes, that's 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 a that's a realm of knowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At this at this that's something we are we are being built up. Yes, sir. At this stage, you are just there watching and looking forward. When will these people respond to me? When, do you understand? Yes, sir, when will yes, that? When will they even call me? I went to an interview. Malakosh kata. Then you enter into a realm where you enter the interview and you sit down. Do you do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, you speak in tongues and you sit down, mm. and you are sitting down alone, mesmerizes the people. Yes, sir. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, they look at you like, wow, 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 wow. Oh, so you came for the work? Oh, go, 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 go. Man, they start work. Glory. Are you getting what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, pastor. Or even without interview, there is that the, we should live like that. Yes, do you understand? Sir. We are having dominion. Even Adam, Adam he said, have dominion. Dominion. He says, far above all name hey that is named. Hey and titles. Is he you not a title? It's a title, sir. And dominions. Hi. And principalities. Hi. Don't take it like it's just spiritual. He says, every name that is... When he talked about Jesus, God has highly uh, uh, what, exalted him. Is that not what he said? Yes, pastor. And giving him a name that is above every other name. Do we have a name? Yes, the microphone is a name. Yes, sir. That car that is not working is a name. It's a name, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Uh, mm. Christianity on another level. What do yes, you guys say? Glory. That's what I want to see. I want to see Christians coming back and say, Papa, the man just gave it to me. He couldn't say one word. He couldn't. He couldn't. Papa, the man said he would sack me. By the time he checked, he has been sacked. Hey. He didn't know I sacked him that day. Mm. I sacked him in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah. He's an atheist. I have sacked him. I have sacked him. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. Patakasa. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yes, Pastor. Are you still in church? I'm in church, sir. If you think that is impossible, it means you don't know the scriptures. Ah. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yes, sir. And then it says, all things are possible to them that believe. Yes, sir. What do you believe? Ah. You believe that I am in Christ. Ah. I believe I'm Lord of all. I believe I'm Lord I of believe all. I believe I'm in deity. I believe I'm in deity. Are you telling me that God can sit in an interview? And be de they be determining his destiny. Never. We are in deity. That's yes, what I've been talking about. Uh, we are God-like. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. I'm not hearing an amen to it. Amen. That's the life of immortality. Yes. It's not a life where a man is determining your life. No, no, no. It's a life where you are determining what you want to see. Yes, sir. And determine what should happen. Yes, sir. And determine how things should go. Yes, sir. The old testament man, the guy's bone still raised the dead. Ah, yeah. 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 His dead bone raised hey. the dead. We are as much alive more than him when he was even alive. Ah. Hey. Yes, sir. How much more he was dead? <laughs> huh. Are these things not strange? Too strange, sir. Dead man's dead bone. A dead man's dead bone. Lako, a dead man. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Ah. An old testament man. Hey! Think, just think about what I just said. Is, think about is it not strange? The prophet of God asked them, says, Tell me, what do you have? In, what should I do for you? Hey. Hey. Oh, when hey. somebody comes to see Brother Alfred, hey. brother, this is what is happening. My husband or my this person, tell me, what should I do for you? Hey. Is, look at, just think, I just wanted to see the way. What, do you understand? How, why would they think like that? Tell me, what, what can I do for you? A man talking like that. What can I do for you? Master, we have told all the night I had nothing on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, we've told all the night there is nothing. Land, land, launch out your net into the deep. Ah, just like that. <laughs> no prayer. No prayer. Like that. Hi. That's functional authority. <laughs> That's that's the functional Christian, the Christian in service, the Christian at work. Oh, yeah. uh, do, do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, the Christian at work. The Christian at work. I put my documents there, and I determine the outcome. Yes, sir. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, pastor. I determine the outcome. I determine the outcome. That's the Christian at work. Yes, Pastor. When you hear these things, you know why I'm sharing these things with you? I'm not saying today, today. I'm sharing this with you so that you realize that you don't have to live your life depending on systems. Mm, 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 mm. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. The systems of this world. No. You don't have to live your life de de depending on systems. Letting the system of the world determine your course. How far you can go, your height in life, all determined by some people or some certain things. No, you live a life of absolute control. Absolute control. Absolute power. Absolute power. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Things are not determining things, you know, the atmosphere, the environment, and all of that. No. Because you have passed from death unto life. Mm, you are in life. This, this, is, this, is, this is immortality. Yes, sir. This is the life of immortals. Mm. People who are found in God. Mm. I've said, I said, when God, those, that's the reason I was sharing, I've been sharing this over the years. When we are looking for God, we find it in you. Yes, sir. We find him in you. In me. You know, and all of those. It's not just a talk. We are getting into, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, pastor. We are getting to the practicality of these truths. Practical Christians operating by practical truths. The Christian living like a champion. You see a challenge, you say, This is like it's meat to me. It's bread and meat to me. This one. Do you think what I'm talking about? <laughs> Now it looks like you are still working in the good will and acceptable will, right? Yes, sir. You are just yes, looking sir. at things and things are determining things and causes and oh. all that and all that. Mm. And you are just waiting and watching and all of that and all of that. <laughs> Be provoked in ah, your yeah. spirit. Ah, yeah, I'm provoked, sir. I'm provoked. I don't want to live a life where somebody is the one determining the outcome of events and things. I don't want to live a life where anything can just happen and I have no control over it and it's just happening. I'm just there watching it happen, watching it happen until it's fully destroyed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I thought I'd hear an amen to amen. that. Amen. Rooted and built up in him 
and established in the faith. Do you see it? Yes, sir. Established in the faith. Do you see there? Yes, Pastor. Established in the faith. Mm. Do you see there? Yes, Pastor. Rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith. I am established in the faith. I am established in the faith. Nothing can move me. Nothing can nobody move me. me. Nobody can talk me out of what I'm doing. Nobody can talk, Nothing me, can out talk me out of what I'm doing. Nothing can talk me nobody out of can what make I'm me doing. feel inferior. Nobody can make nobody me feel Nobody like, like can make me think inferior. Nobody can nobody make, me, like think can make me talk inferior. Nobody can make me talk I'm a man inferior. in Christ. I'm a man in Christ. I'm a man in Christ. I'm a man in Christ. I am Christ. superior. I am superior. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, pastor. I'm established in the faith. I'm, I'm not being moved to and fro. Do you I'm see that there's a relation between it? Yes, sir. I'm not being moved to and fro. I'm established in the I'm faith. Established in the faith. Nothing moves me. Nothing moves me. It says established in the faith. As you have been taught. Yes. As you have been what? Taught. Yeah. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Established in the faith as you have been taught. When we don't teach you, you can't be established in the faith. Yes, sir. Is that not true? It's true, sir. Now continue, verse 8. Beware, hmm. lest any man spoil you. Boy. Do you see it there? Yes, pastor. Beware, be aware. Hmm. Is that what he's saying? Yes, sir. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy hmm. and vain deceit. Do you see it there? Yes, sir. Why do you like going to church too much? You don't have to go to church every Sunday. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Why should you even connect online? There is no need for it. What will you get? Is just a man standing there and talking. Mm. Is that not true? Yes. Man spoil you through philosophy. philosophy. All these religious folks, mm. all these men of God, you know, they are all after their bellies. Oh, these men of God of today, we don't even know. Now all of us are men of God. The Bible says you are a priest. So all of us are all men of God. You don't need a man of God. Have you heard those things? I saw it recently. Somewhere. I was very shocked. Was some white man like that telling people online and the people were, many of them commenting, hey, I used to go to church. I've even stopped. This one said, I used to do this. I've even, do you understand? Yes, the man was telling you don't need a man of God. Learn the Bible for yourself. <laughs> Learn it for yourself. Read it. When you wake up, you read it. You don't need to go to church. You don't need any person to call himself man of God over your life. You know? And people were commenting who were supposedly Christians. Mm. Right? He says, beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Mm. And vain deceit. Do you see it there? Yes, sir. After the tradition of men. After what? The tradition, the tradition of, men. of men. And after the rudiments of the world. Not after Christ. So you can be spoiled through philosophy and vain deceit. You can be spoiled through the tradition of men. Okay? Yes, sir. You can be spoiled through the rudiments of the world. Just beware these things. The philosophy and vain deceit. There's so much scientific knowledge in the world... Yeah. To the point where if you are not even careful, all the things you believe in, they will just be math belief. Mm. Right? Yes, sir. Math belief. Your whole faith will be in all the knowledge that is in the world. Yeah. Is that not true? It's true, sir. And vain deceit. Like I said yesterday, oh, Christianity is a white man religion. <laughs> do, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. V philosophy and vain deceit. Do you see it there? Yes, sir. God has not caused any rain. Rain can be even caused by men. It's not any God causing rain. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Somebody tried that with me on campus. I finished him. I'm going to that today. 
I finished the guy. He went to Italy, came back and wanted to want, wanted to prove that he's learned something. <laughs> oh, I finished him with all those theories. I remember. <laughs> and when the seed, amen. amen. Look at even the nations. They don't even they don't even believe in there are certain nations they don't believe in any Christ, but they are developed. Have you have you heard those things? They are developed nations. They don't believe in any Christ. They don't even have churches like we have in Ghana. I use those kind of things. So it's not about God or churches. All these churches, they are all fake. All these men of God, they are fake. That's vain deceit. They are all fake. A nation is, de de is developed and you are saying churches. It's be even because of the churches that nations, African nations are not even developed. Have you heard those things before? Yes, sir. Such people think that the church is here to develop a nation. Mm. <laughs> the church is a nation. Hey, if you don't know, you talk nonsense. And you meet, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, the church of Jesus Christ was it's not left nation. here to develop a, a physical nation. Hi. The church itself is a nation. a nation. Or the church himself is a nation. Yes, sir. Holy nation. Oh. Holy nation. We have our own citizenship. Yes, sir. Our good, our code, our code of conduct. Yes, sir. We have what we do. Yes, sir. We are not here to develop a nation. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? We are dying for the gospel. We are not dying for a nation. No, sir. No, sir. We won't be put in prison because of a particular nation. No, sir. No, we must be. We can be put in prison for our nation, yes, our sir. kingdom. Yes, sir. We live in our own kingdom. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, pastor. The development of nations has nothing to do with churches. No, never. You didn't hear what I said. Ha. The church can have what we call social responsibility and build schools and all that. We are not responsible for, for developing a nation. No, sir. The governments of the nations are, develop, are, are, are responsible for that. Yes, sir. The scripture says it. Leaders in authority. Those leaders in authority are not church. No. Mm. There are leaders in authority who are not born again. Yes, sir. He talks about that. He says that we should pray for for what, for rulers and nations and kings and all of that. We do it. Yes, sir. Ah. But the development of a nation is not de determined by how much churches or how much non church. It does, those are nonsensical talks. Hey. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> we live in our world. Yes, sir. We live in our world. Our major responsibility is to get people from the physical nation into our divine nation. Yes, sir. That is that's so winning. Yes, sir. And train them in what we believe in. Yes, sir. And make them act like I'm talking about. Yeah. This kind of actions I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, and sir. walk in love. Yes, sir. And walk by faith. Yes, sir. And walk as God men. And all of that. We train them like that. And get them ready for the rapture. If God left this church. For to develop the nation, then in the rapture, what Jesus will stand there and do would be to turn the nation into a developed nation. Yeah. He will just stand in the air, right? Yes, and turn Ghana to a developed nation, and turn Africa to a developed continent, and turn. He is coming to take his church home, home. Brother, <laughs> whether developed or not. Hey. <laughs> do you get what I'm talking yes, about? Sir. I don't know whether you get what I'm talking yes, about. Sir. Our people don't know the principles, and the, the principles of the church are different. Mm. Thank God for development and non-development. But that is not our responsibility. Mm. We can build a school, yeah. right? Yes, sir. We can build a hospital. Those are social responsibilities. I was sick, you did not come and visit me. So we fulfill scriptures. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, I was in prison, so you build prison and all that. Like I said, that, that is not the major reason for Christianity. No. That we are building hospitals and all means that that is Christian. This is, this is Christian. When people see churches, they say this is real Christianity. Do you know what I'm talking about? That is the religious side of Christianity. Yes, sir. Visiting yes, sir. the poor and the needy. Yes, sir. You know, that's the religious. It's the religious Christian. Say they didn't come and visit me, so I don't come to church. Yeah. That's that's the religious side of Christianity that James made mention of, right? Yes, sir. When he talked about visiting the poor and the needy, in consistency with what Jesus said, I was in need and you did not clothe me. I was. Do you understand? Yes, and those are the religious side of it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. No man of God is sent to some people. Some people say, I'm sent to some, after they do ministry. Prayer, they say, God says I should now become the president of a nation, mm -hmm. so that I can develop the nation. 
have you finished developing the people in your nation hmm. or in your world in the nation we are in ah. <laughs> oh you don't understand what i'm saying I understand, sir. men are putting the wisdom of men to work hmm. it's time for the church to put the wisdom of god to work yes, sir. Yes, are you hearing what i'm saying yes pastor is the wisdom of god not for you to walk in insufficiency mm -hmm. nothing finishes in your hands yeah is the wisdom of god is the wisdom of men to teach you economy mm -hmm. or economics yes, and tell you man's needs are insatiable they can't be met is that not what economics yes, they say their demand and supply <laughs> and what other what i forgot all of that do you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and then you 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 go up in the in the thinking that uh, the system is like do you understand yes sir but he says that he's able to make all grace abound to you uh, so that you walk in all sufficiency uh, so you begin to think in that direction yes, sir. and work in all sufficiency if the whole world collapses or you are just working in all sufficiency all do you understand if the whole world is in sickness you are just working in your health and coming yes sir and controlling the sicknesses here and there. Mm. Say, hey, what are you doing, Kojo's body? Hey, what are you doing? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, and they are all running away. Hey, what are you still there? Mm. And they are all running away. And you are demonstrating the kingdom. Yes, sir. Jesus came demonstrating the kingdom. Yes, we are on earth to demonstrate the kingdom. Yes, are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm hearing you, sir. Hallelujah. Vain deceit. Vain deceit. It's after the tradition of men. Do you see it there? Yes, sir. The traditions of men. Make sure nobody spoil you through the traditions of men. Mm. There are men's traditions. Do you understand? Yes, and after the rudiments of the world. Mm. Like I said, the world has so changed. The church has so changed. The church, you play a Christian song, they won't dance. Mm. In the same church, once we close, let somebody play uh, what some kind of song, you will be sure what will happen. The same people who are speaking in tongues will start... They have they don't know where they are standing. No. There are a lot of examples. The yes, traditions sir. of men. Yes, sir. Do you see the traditions of men? Yes, Pastor. We are not in any competition trying to prove that God has blessed us and because of that we have fleets of cars. We, do you get know what I'm talking about? Yes, that's not that's not what that's not Christian. Materialism ma, sorry. Materialism is not Christianity. No. There's a difference. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Yes, Pastor. Can we continue quickly? Are you in church? I'm in church, sir. For in him dwells, do you see it there? For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. For in him, what? Dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Uh -huh. And you are, are you there? Yes, sir. Is your name there? Yes, sir. Complete in him, complete. which is the head of all principality and power. Yes, sir. He is the head of all, he says we are complete in him, who is the head of all, do you, do you, of, of all principality and power. There is no power that is beyond us. No power. There is no principality that is beyond us. Just think about this scripture. Somebody like you, entering an interview room, and men are deciding for you. Men. Look at it here. You are complete in him. You are you are complete. <laughs> it, that, the last time I said I said the Christian has no defect. No the new man has no defect. <laughs> are you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's what it talks about. Complete in him. We are full in him. Mm. And which is the head of all. Mm. If you have your Bible, you circle all, mm. all principality and power. Oh, thank you, Jesus. These are scriptures you see like this, and you just you don't know what to do again. I'm the head of I'm in the one who is the head of all principality and power. I'm the one who is the head of all principality and power. I determine destinies. I determine destinies. Do you understand? I go, I change lives. I change I change destinies. I change destinies. Do you understand? I change people's world. Yes, sir. Now go to Romans quickly. Are you there? I'm here, sir. So you grow in these things like this. You walk in Christ. Do you understand? You walk in Christ. You co you collide with principalities and they, they collide with you, them. You do you understand? Yes, sir. You collide with things. Mm -hmm. You see them running helter skelter. 
The guy has come here also. <laughs> oh, see, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. I'm not ordinary. I'm not ordinary. Who has heard something today? I've heard something, sir. Romans chapter what? 11, right? Yes, sir. Can I give you certain scriptures right now? So powerful. So, have you, have you, do you understand what I'm sharing with you today? Yes, sir. I'm telling you there's a realm of knowledge, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. And growth in Christ, right? Yes, sir. Where, where, where you are apart from, you know, you are apart from those things, evil things and negative things and all that. It's a realm of knowledge because that is not part of us. We've been translated from that realm. It says we have passed from death to life. Are, where are we now in life? life. We have passed. We are past that. So when you see those activities of those things are activities of spiritual death. Mm. If I was talking, I wanted to talk about spiritual death today, but let's continue. What do you guys think? Yes, I'll show you certain activity, activities of spiritual death. Those things we talk about. You know. Those are activities of spiritual, those negative, negative things. But we have passed into life. We are in life. In life. Life and immortality. Life and immortality. Life and immortality. Life and immortality. Oh, the world is about to see something. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Life and immortality to light. Men who are eternal life and immortals. Walking on the streets. Eternal life. Are you are you are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Walking on the streets. You sit down, you think you say, no football club is calling me. No football club wants to pick me. I, nobody even knows me. You know, those are the you understand? Those are the good wills and all that. We enter here. You in your sleep. Do you understand? The man Abraham was asleep. What was God busily doing? <laughs> He was busily showing himself in the sleep of uh, Abimelech. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. So you're a dead man. Yes. The man was asleep. Yes. And Abimelech was having a conversation. I don't know anything about this. So, oh, Lord. Oh, this one. Oh, please let me. Are you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I don't know whether you caught what I just said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes, that, that's this how I think every day. I just sit down. I just think of all this. I'm like, wow. Christianity on another level. Oh. No club is calling me. No club is calling me. No football club. Hmm. I don't know anyone. Hmm. No. Hmm. The limits must be taken oh, off. Yes, are you are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. Those limits must be taken off. It's not that they've not been taken off in Christ Jesus. We are talking about practical things now. We take the limits off. Clubs. Are you are you are you catching what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. You started thinking, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Romans chapter eleven, verse what? Go to 33. <laughs> Is that not powerful? It's powerful, sir. Certain things must be done. We, I like what Pastor Chris says. We operate by a different set of rules. Certain things are done. The guy had labored the whole night, too. Perfect. The whole night. And had nothing, right? Yes, sir. Another, another guy comes in and says, Launch your nets, and there, is, there, is fish, there are fishes. <laughs> You see the operation different. Yeah. This is us here. Yes, sir. We are in that Jesus talking. That is the Jesus. Yeah. We are not in this man here. No, 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 no. Do you get what I'm talking about? Yes, we can't have a whole clubless whatever. A whole, no. Something must happen Malakasaya. by yes. certain means yes, that sir. we control. Yes, sir. Oh, we are setting the stage for something. Ash. 
Hallelujah. The next Hallelujah. ten years will be full of of miracles that we can't explain. Are you are you get what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor. The bracket that is open. Do you remember the bracket that is opening? Ah, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> We've closed one bracket, yes, right? Sir. We are opening another bracket. Yes, sir. This next bracket we are opening mm. will be full of this kind of happiness. Yes, sir. Oh. Amen. When men can't explain us. Yes, sir. They will say those who have turned the world upside, upside down, down. They have come here also. Yeah. Hey. They are in Switzerland now. Yes, sir. Hey. They have turned the world upside down. They've come to Italy also. Yes, sir. They've turned the world upside down. They are in Asia also. Yes, sir. They've done what? They've turned the world, turned upside, the world down. upside down. Do you know what it means to turn the world upside down? Where people are going forward like this, they are going, they are going with, their, with their front, they are going with your back. <laughs> a different kind of people, yes, a different yes, set yes. of people, yes. different breed of people, different breed of people, peculiar, different walk. Mm. You see, so it is oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge. <laughs> I don't know why this scripture, when I come on it, I come on it to close. What do you guys think? <laughs> I said, people say that God's ways are past finding out when it comes to negative happenings, right? And I said, no, we ought to interpret the scriptures, you know, according to its context, the context of the scriptures. So when you start reading from verse 1, which we won't go there, Paul started talking about the, the, the Jews and all that. God's work with the Jews. And the Gentiles and what God has set in place now. So it's so powerful. That's from verse one going is so powerful. Now when he reaches the verse 33, it says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. So there is what the depth of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Do you see the depth there? I said, Do you see the depth there? Yes, Pastor. Or do you think I should tackle this scripture again next week? <laughs> Come on, shout glory. Glory. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Do you see there? Yes, How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So people are tempted to read this scripture or use this scripture to pamper evil happenings you know but here he's talking with regards to knowledge do you understand yes, he says that there is so much knowledge of god there's so much depth of the riches both of the wisdom and the knowledge of god this is how unsearchable are his judgments judgments that means his decisions yeah. How unsearchable are his decisions? Well, if something is unsearchable, it means that you search, 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 and you never reach the end. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, we have the ability to search and to keep searching. That's what I'm trying to let you know. It says, and it's ways past finding out. But you see, even though he mentions this here, he's given us, what I want you to understand is that he's given us the grace. In the New Testament, to walk in the depth of his wisdom. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. Yes, Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, to, to search and know the depth of the riches of his wisdom and of his knowledge. We are not, we are not, you know, you are tempted to think that this means that you are limited in your search you know when you go deep there's a place you can't go again there's you can but that's not what he's talking about here why because when you look at this it's so powerful it says his ways are past finding out but you see when you take this scripture and you put it together with first corinthians chapter two they are putting scriptures upon scriptures right yes, I want you to know that you can access the depth. Do you get what I'm talking about? You can keep searching and searching and become a perfect man. Like what he calls the father. And still as a father, keep searching 
until you check out. Do you get what I'm talking about? You you don't reach. You don't you, you can't over search. You can't under search. You don't reach a limit in your search. We have a searching grace. What do you guys think? Yeah, in the New Testament, we have what? A searching grace. A se searching grace. How unsearchable are his decisions? This is what we talk about. We talk about the working of all things after the counsel of his will, where nobody is is what is advising him or counseling him on how we should go about things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Unsearchable are his judgments. And his ways are past finding out. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments. And his ways past finding out. What a scripture. Are you there? Yes, pastor. Do you see there? Yes, sir. It's so powerful. Is that not so powerful? Oh, Livakas and Teleba. Can I go into First Corinthians? Yes, sir. It looks like I don't have time. What do you guys think? <laughs> Go to First Corinthians chapter two, right? Yes, sir. Oh, Balaka Atoli Falakatosh, Legabaha Lagosh Paradis. Are you being blessed? I'm blessed, sir. Who is going on a search? I'm going on a search. Yeah. You are learning. learning. You are learning. learning. You are being built up in Him. Do you see that? Yes, sir. You are rooted in him. Rooted in him. Hmm. You are not moved by the rudiments of the world. No, you are not moved by philosophy and vain deceit. No. no. You can't think you can't think, think otherwise. No. Your thoughts are patterned according to the word. Patterned according do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. You are programmed according to the word of God. Programmed according to the word of God. According to the knowledge of Christ. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. First Corinthians chapter two, reading from somewhere verse six. Do you see it there? I want you to look at it. I'm, I'm putting the two together. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. How be it? Says we speak their wisdom. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Do you see those that are perfect? Yes, sir. Those are grown men. Yes. Yet not the wisdom of this world. Do you see it? Yes nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. Mm -hmm. So it says that we speak the wisdom. Can we go to verse something? Let's go to 5 and let me see where it begins from. If I just... Okay, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom. Go to I, uh, this scripture. The, what do you guys think? <laughs> Can we deal with something here? Just go yes, to verse 4 let me see. And my speech and my preaching. This is Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul. Paul, come on, shout glory. Glory. Are you guys tired already? No, sir. Are you are you tired? No, sir. You want us to move it to next week? No, sir. Or next weekend? No, sir. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words or persuasive words of man's wisdom. It says, but in the demonstration of the spirit, I said, I said, the demonstration of the spirit and power is a demonstration of knowledge. Yes, sir. Do you hear that? Yes, so it is the demonstration of the spirit and of power. My speech and my preaching. Then it goes to verse 5. Let's go quickly. So that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. The demonstration should get your faith to be in the power of God. Continue. Uh -huh. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. There is a wisdom we speak. See what I'm saying right now? Yes, sir. I remember years ago I said, I said, people say, how, how many assets do you have? I'm just, your, your, your assets are incalculable. Incalculable. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That's the wisdom of God. Yes, sir. To work in all sufficiency. The wisdom of God. To have absolute control. The wisdom of God. Where men are not determining your fate. Yeah. Do you do what I'm talking about? Yes, Seemingly determining your fate. The wisdom of God. Those are the things I'm sharing now. This is, I speak the wisdom. I speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the way I speak wisdom, but I'm not speaking the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world. The wisdom of this world, nor the wisdom of the princes of this world that come to nothing. 
So the wisdom of this world and the wisdom of the prince of this world comes to nothing. Yes, sir. But Paul said, I'm not speaking that kind of wisdom. I'm speaking a particular kind of wisdom. Yes, Continue, verse 7. It says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Do you see it? Yes, sir. So when an unbeliever joins, connects and insists me sharing this, you'll be like, what is this guy talking about? It's in a mystery, brother. You ought to be born again. Aye. <laughs> You know, the carnal man says, ah, what is he talking about? He says, we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. So, if we want to manifest glory, we ought to have this kind of wisdom at work. Do you see it? The hidden wisdom. is it calls it the wisdom of God. He's talking about insights into secrets insights into what into secrets of god insight like i said insight means having being able to see into god do you know what i'm talking about oh it looks like you guys are already tired maybe i should continue next week what do you guys think i have things to share with this scripture i don't take care i'll stop in the middle somewhere <laughs> Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? blessed, sir. If you are blessed, shout glory. So we are bringing our what? Ramadan weekend, three day two, to an end. Maybe next week we tackle this verse. That though the depth of that, I want you to see this scripture and how we apply it in the New Testament. Do you understand? You know explain it in this context because there's something it says here and other scriptures we will look at that makes sense no matter how deep their wisdom is we can dig in i like i like what the chinese people say when they put food on the table they say dig in (laughs) (laughs) how do you guys think (laughs) Mm. is it digging so we are digging in wisdom what do you guys think Oh, I pray for you in the name of Jesus, Jesus. by the power of the Holy Spirit. That this week, this new week, there will be miracles on your part. Amen. I declare wisdom is at work in you. The wisdom of God. I pray for you. It is as newborn babes desire the sincere milk. I pray no matter your level, that the desire to know Christ, to have the knowledge of Christ, will increase. Amen. I speak in your life in the name of Jesus. that you increase in knowledge. Amen. In the knowledge of God. Amen. You increase in the knowledge of Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The desire to know will be activated right Amen. now. Amen. That the ministry of the Spirit of God will be at work. Amen. By the power of the Spirit, Amen. the ministry of the Holy Ghost will be at work in you. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In a mighty way. Amen. Guiding you into all truths. Amen. Leading you into all these things I have shared with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bringing you unto remembrance of these things. Amen. By the power of the Spirit of Amen. God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, we love you, Lord. Lift up everywhere we are just speaking tongues. Oh, just speaking tongues. Valahasa. The world is being filled with the glory of God. As the waters cover the sea. The world is being filled with the wisdom of God. And the knowledge of God. The church is being filled with the depth of knowledge and wisdom as the waters cover the sea. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Glory. So we have brought our meeting to an end. Amen. Amen. You can give your offering. We are online. Wherever you are, you can give your offering. Amen. Amen. Hope you have been blessed. Yes, sir. You are here in this. Imagine you just sit on this. How many weekends now? Six? Six weekends now. And the whole time you are. I've told you, I've given you an assignment, right? Make sure every day you listen to one message. Yes, sir.
from the Pastor Prince Zerita Library or from YouTube or from Facebook. One day, one what? Message. Operation One Day, One Message. message. Uh -huh. one, one, one day, one dose. Yes, sir. One capsule. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this weekend, you can decide to just be listening. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And watching again, again, until it settles with you. We are flying. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We are flying. You can't be walking whilst we are flying. No. What do you guys think? It's true, sir. You can't be walking while we are flying. You can't be running while we are flying. Yes, no. Sir. We are flying. Who are these that fly as the clouds? Yes. So we are flying. Who is flying with me? I'm flying with you, sir. Through knowledge. Yes, sir. You are in the air. Yes, sir. All the things happening on the on the streets <laughs> and on the earth and all that doesn't touch you. No. Doesn't, doesn't concern you. No. Your own is in being in the air. I'm in the air. And remaining in the <laughs> air. Yes, sir. Is that not the, the yeah, that's the way to go. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, Pastor. You want to be in the in the air, air perpetually, you have to grow feathers, right? Yes, sir. And grow strong wings. Yes, sir. That's what we are doing now. We are growing strong wings. Yes, sir. We are adding feathers onto feathers. Hallelujah. And when we are in the air, we will not be concerned about what is on earth. No. Or on the ground. We will no. just be in the air. We will not be concerned about what is on ground. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. There may be accidents on ground. We are in the air. I'm in the air. There may be sickness and disease on ground. We are in the air. I'm in the air. There will be change of governments and all of that. We are in the air. I'm in the air. Are you, are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, Pastor. So that's that's your life. Yes, sir. That's my life. Shout glory. Glory. A life of glory. So God bless you all for joining. And make sure you go back and listen. Don't be lazy. Don't be slothful. Not slothful in business. Does he say yes, that? Yes, sir. It says, and be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Be not slothful. Don't be lazy. Be diligent. Are you there? Yes, sir. Hearing messages, listening to messages, giving yourself to the word. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. And we love you all. Love you too, sir. I said we love you all. We love you too, sir. Shout glory. glory. Next weekend. We will meet and continue from where we ended. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe that there is more to share. What do you guys think? Yes, sir. If we put life and immortality, it's like we are hitting it. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, sir. God bless you all. Make sure you join. Make sure when we do the short videos, you use them for your statuses. Amen. Amen. And share them with your friends, your family. Okay. And like what we place on our social media. Some of you, it's been a long time since we've even liked any video, any post, and uh, all the uh, news of the day. You see the news of the day, they are all powerful. Yes, sir. Uh, they are unique. Yeah. They are WCN news of the day. What do you guys think? It's true, sir. Yeah. So just stay connected. By the time you check, a grace has come upon you. And you are unstoppable. <laughs> it will unstoppable. just come upon you. It says God is able to make all grace oh, abound grace. toward you. Is that not what he says? Yes, Pastor. His grace is multiplied mm. through knowledge. Yes, sir. As we are sharing some of these things, we are entering, you know, as we are sharing things like this and giving examples and all that, we are attracting the grace yes, sir. for such happenings. Right. Hallelujah. By the time you check, you have become different. Yes, sir. You are full of results. Yes, full of results. You are causing changes. You are causing yes, things Hallelujah. in people's lives. Hallelujah. People come to see you. They are not Hallelujah. born again. You cause a change. Yes, what do you guys sir. think? Yes, sir. And you are manifesting yes, sir. as a son of God. What do you guys think? Excuse yeah. I'm manifesting everywhere. I'm manifesting. Say I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting. As a matured son of God. As a matured son of God. I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting. As a matured son of God. As a matured son. God bless of God. you and we love you. See you again. You, Glory. Glory. Yeah.
Jesus Christ God of the prophets You're before all things in time Father of spirits Father of light You're the one who lives forever God and Father Abraham walked in prophetic revelation. He saw when he says he see my do you understand? He saw it. He saw this day. Abraham rejoiced when he saw this day. You are in this day, you are never rejoicing. You are moving from problem to problem. Abraham he saw this day and he rejoiced to see a day like this one where the children of God will know who they are and manifest and function like that. Abraham rejoiced and he saw it. He saw that time where men will no longer be enslaved by the devil. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When men are like God on earth. When men are in God on earth. Where God is in men on earth. And they have become one. Where men have become the habitation of God on earth. Abraham saw it. So Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He rejoiced to see my day. The Bible says, now is the day of salvation. Are we not in the day? We are in the day. We are in the day. The day Abraham rejoiced to see, you are in it. Think about it. I don't know why, but I, I feel so concerned when somebody says, tomorrow, let's leave it to God. You know, that kind of thing. Tomorrow, there's a way they say, say tomorrow is not guaranteed or something. Have you heard those things before? Have you heard it before? Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Who, who, who are you? What are you talking about? That my tomorrow is not guaranteed. Who controls it? The darkness in the world controls it. The God of the world controls it. Or I control it. Control it you, that's what the things I see. They seem, they seem like a higher curriculum. But that's the truth. There's something unique that happens when Pastor Prince teaches the word. Suddenly you realize what you can do in Christ and what Christ can do through you. Join us at Ramathon this weekend. God richly bless you. Ramathon Season 7 Five Weekends of Life and Immortality Join Pastor Prince live for an expose on the Word and diverse miracles Saturdays and Sundays beginning 4th May to 2nd June 2024 You are blessed.